scratch that itch and slap that bitch. Welcome to the Kevin Polly Show. Stabbing Horse, it's the Kevin Holly Show. This radio person is the whole problem. Are we going to allow this guy to be heard by anyone who can turn a dial? I've got a pirate radio station. Nobody knows who he is. You out there? You listening? Well, welcome to the Kevin Holly Show, everybody. Holy crap. There's a lot of people in this studio tonight. We got, uh... <laughs> we got Pops with a bottle of Blue Gatorade tonight. Where's the poor man's Bloody Mary at, Jay? We got Jaybird. Yeah, we got Chuck with a... Uh, some kind of weapon. I don't know what's going on tonight. <laughs> we got a special guest tonight, and uh, there's already people in the chat room. How about that? If you're listening to the show tonight, it is episode 83, the same year, uh, the same age as Pops tonight. 83 years old, episode oh, Pops. 83. Oh, that makes it special. Your yeah, how about that, man? Golden episode. Dude, if I say how about that one more time, somebody hit <laughs> 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 oh, me. Now, we're going to have a lot of fun tonight, guys. If you're listening to the show and you want to interact with us, hit the chat room up on Spreaker. We've already got a couple of people in there. Welcome, Kathy. Welcome, Glick. And uh, also the hotline tonight, 727-237-6010. We will be taking calls all night long. Also, hit us up on Twitter at Kevin Holly Show 4. That's the number four. And I'd love to introduce uh, a special guest, but not until I ask Pops how he's doing. Pops, how you doing, man? Well, uh, I... Been better, but I'm alive, so <laughs> sometimes that's not a blessing either. But oh, it I'm is for us, man. Glad to be here, uh, especially uh, we've got a gentleman here, Cam. I, I told him the only other Cam I knew was a quarterback for for uh, Carolina, and asked him if they were related, and he said, "Yeah, they were." So that's that's kind of neat. Uh, I think he said that was his mom or something. That's crazy. They look a lot alike. <laughs> <laughs> Cam Bertrand, everybody. Stand-up comedian here in Tampa Bay. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the show, Cam. Thanks for having me, man. Glad You're to welcome, be here. Man. Thanks for being here. That's totally cool, dude. It's uh, always a lot of fun when we have a full house, man. And for those of you listening that haven't listened before or aren't familiar, that uh, hissing noise you hear. That's Pops, that's his air hose, and uh, he needs that. So, Chuck, if you could do me a favor and not step on it or roll over it tonight, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, can I use it as a bondage? Um, yeah, okay. Well, right? after oh, the God. show. Christ. Also, we've got... Oh, <laughs> my God, through the door comes Pat shit crazy. Pat Berge. I was being so quiet. Yeah, welcome, dude, welcome. <laughs> I smashed the chair into my we got Homeless Chuck, Pops, Jaybird. 
Patrick Berge and Cam Bertrand, and myself, your host, Kevin Holly. Welcome to the show, everybody. Check this guy's ID before he uh, <laughs> drinks in the drinking fountain line. That's true. Cam is young. Uh, what are you, 23? 20? 23. Just turned 23. Happy yeah. birthday. Yeah. When right. did you Thanks, turn 23? Uh, last Tuesday. No crap, really? No, yeah. Sure. Yeah. You want yeah. some liquor? I got liquor over here, yeah. man. <laughs> Let's get you. <laughs> or better yet, how about a belated spanking? Whoa, it's not, whoa, whoa. It's not that kind of show, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really don't know if I got, I got 23 swats in me, but, uh, you know, who knows? Well, I got a lot in store tonight. I know um, oh. Chuck and Jaybird brought a lot of things to the table here, and... Um, you know, I was going to just want to let you guys know that we didn't bring Cam onto the show tonight to have him tell us a bunch of jokes. If you want to hear Cam tell jokes, um, he'll let us know where he's going to be uh, doing his, excuse me, his stand-up comedy uh, coming up here. And we'll talk about that a little bit more coming up. Also, sure if you... Yeah, some eye candy for sure. Yeah, somebody that's why pops is here. What are you? That's that's the whole reason. That's right. We, we almost sound like we we're on the Nemo sub with pops tonight. Yeah, with your your day glow orange life jacket you're wearing over there. Dude. <laughs> I'm spot on. Yeah, spot something. So uh, anyway, if you want to check out uh, at least five minutes of Cam Bertrand's stand up, I did put a link up on our Facebook page, the Kevin Holly Show on Facebook, um, where you can check out uh, you know a five minute clip of uh, him doing some stand up. I thought it was hilarious, and we'll play that too uh, later on in the show here. Um, but we should probably get right into it, uh, into the show here. I don't know who wants to start. I got a couple of new segments and a couple of uh, funny things that happened today that kind of go along with it. And Lori B actually, should we start it off with what Lori B did today, Jay? I she's the star of the show. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't, then I might not have a pillow when I get home. <laughs> At least one with a lot of drool on it. <laughs> oh, it's, that's not drool, Chuck. It's just pre-cum. That's all that is. <laughs> they taste you the same. <laughs> yeah, they taste this. this. <laughs> <laughs> Free breeze. Free breeze. I like this kid already. Man. <laughs> all I can say is free breeze. <laughs> well, okay, Chuck. <clears throat> excuse me. A couple of days ago, about a week ago, actually, uh, I want to say last Thursday after the show, um, Lori, you know how we love Harambe on this show, right? Harambe. Yeah, well, Lori was um, all excited, and she was, she's always contributing things to my brain, you know? She'll tell me stuff, and it's really cool. But um, a couple of days like ago... like Kevin, take the garbage out. You <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking much like Harambe's trainers. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Come, get the, <laughs> Come get the banana. Come get the banana, Kevin. Kevin, banana. Kevin, you're hungry. Come get the banana. Well, you guys are animals, man. <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah. We need better health insurance for the kids. <laughs> anyway, um, she came up with a, a parody banana. song. Nana. <laughs> she came up with a parody song, and I was really proud of her. Um, <clears throat> she also came up with uh, a couple of different uh, little bumpers and whatnot, but here, let me pull this up. I want you guys, let's do a, a, an old school radio make it or break it. Now, we've got a, we play parodies every week, right? right? We always make different ones. Chuck's famous. He's got you a know, whole folder full of them. To backtrack, I'm not really comfortable with talking about Lori B's bumper, though. <laughs> I'm really not. Do you like Eric Clapton, Chuck? Bumper. I do. I, kn- I knew you would, because, you know, you went through that whole time. He gave the whole slow hand job. Yeah, the slow hand job. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> all right. I'm just going to play it. Fuck it. You ready? Here we go. Tell me what y'all think. Make it or break it. Here we go. Woo! Good clap. Shot the round <laughs> But I did not shoot the little boy. Did not shoot the little boy. All the children are going to be crying across the planet. Ralph be come to Cincinnati Zoo to live his life out on display. That little boy was found not guilty for the killing of Harambe. Oh, the killing of Harambe. It's all her. But I say, <clears throat> shot around me. Shot around me. Oh, but I swear it was for self defense. <laughs> I shot around me. Cause a little boy climbed over the fence. <laughs> uh, that's where I gotta stop. 
Because that's where... Wait. <laughs> <laughs> because... So, how blessed am I to have such a talented young lady uh, living with me and agreeing to marry me? Wow. And she loves Harambe as well. You know, it's hurry okay. up and perform the ceremony before she gets wise. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, if I was you, I would impregnate her quick. instantly. Uh, know, Pops, I, I'm, I'm going to have you wheel her down the aisle, if you don't mind. What? I'd be, oh, that'd be I'd honored. Be honored on but lap? I'm going to yeah. have to have a long talk with her before she agrees. <laughs> After I get through with you tonight, she may not. She may not want you. Oh, <laughs> Pop's microphone is off. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you guys think? Should we keep that in the folder? Play it during a break or two in the future. Yeah, absolutely. You like it? Absolutely. Ah, Glick in the chat room says, "I'd love to give my opinion of this parody, but couldn't hear it over goddamn Chuck's loud ass." <laughs> oh my ass! Bullshit. He did not. Thanks, say Glick. That. <laughs> <laughs> right here. Cam for you. Uh, I always laugh every now and then. What the fuck? Chuck is famous for uh, talking over pops and interrupting, you know, all the time and whatnot. Oh, that's so where this came from. That's where oh, that okay. came from, yeah. Okay, god damn it. So maybe if you put that dart on your glasses in your mouth instead. <laughs> I feel like most of the show is going to be me trying to keep up with the inside references. No, I'll explain them as okay. we go. There's not that many. I'm like, like yeah. oh, man. No, no. There's, there's very fucking few. Yeah, we're very remedial here. I think, you know, I'm not going to say you'll fit right in. I don't want to insult you. You know what I'm saying? No, because by the second hour, you're going to hurt them all like 20 times. Yeah. And you're going to be like right. totally in. We, we haven't had new material since, uh, since hey. cotton became like, like Camp. a fabric. Cam, you know why they pet newborn babies on the butt when they're born? Uh-uh. Huh? No. It's to knock the dicks off all the dumb ones. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 go that's pause. gonna fit that's into great. my. That's gonna fit into my segment with Kevin. I love that. All right. That's one they missed. This might be better. So than Kevin, you, Kevin, you didn't get slapped on the butt as a baby. <laughs> no, Nor man. Nor is an adult. <laughs> Don't worry, you can go in any bathroom you want to, man. Thanks. Man. <laughs> Appreciate that. Florida has plenty of county parks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. Fucking causeways and mangroves. And that's <laughs> that's actually what I was thinking was <laughs> mangroves. Just, just, just concentrate on Kavina. K a v e n a. The there, there was actually wow. a movie where, where a guy changed his. Uh, you remember that? Are you talking about the same movie, Pops? Oh, uh, let's not go there, Chuck. Okay. I mean, you know, I don't want to offend the non-binary uh, identifying. All right, there's listening something audience. I'd like to talk about, man. Pull your mic up, man. Let's do this. There's definitely something I'd like to talk about, and I saw it on the news today, so mm -hmm. I'm ripping off, uh, you know, the local news. That's okay. But I think it's very interesting that they've come up with something that's called a camera jammer. Oh, really? Yeah. Where you can actually, you can install this in your car and get away with the red light cameras. It will not. Now, this is it, something that's uh, been talked about a lot, like people putting stuff over their license plate. How does this work, Jay? Um, I, I actually, I don't know how it works because I'm not very knowledgeable. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but it actually, like, detects, like, when you're getting photographed. And it sends a flash off over your plate, so the light it will like blind out your license oh, plate. Oh, yeah, maybe you could put it on a push button. And it's like the radar detector. It's like the radar detector of um, red light cameras no, or toll booth cameras. Know, Lexus, that it would give you two seconds. Once I was uh, picked up on laser, it would give me an alert, and it would give me two seconds to get down uh, under speed. So it had a built-in. Um, yeah, did that. That was factory. Yeah. Well, I don't know, but you know what? I hate them red light cameras. I'm not. I'm not like wanting to like crash into people. Yeah. Well, but if you, if you slam on your brakes so that you avoid you know the red light ticket, right. you're gonna get rear ended. Right. No, I know Chuck pays extra for that, but oh. most people, you know, <laughs> yeah. what? No, it's marginal. <laughs> it's marginal. It's I was marginal. thinking the device merely projected an image of Chuck and disabled the camera. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that it, boy, it puts a picture of Chuck oh, on the hand. license plate. Oh, when you go through the license, it's got a picture of a headshot of Chuck. It it's breaks like, the camera. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, if you get that, you know, the 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 pass, the sun pass that you use on the tolls here in Tampa Bay, um, 
Think about Which this for a second. Consider this. Let's say you have one of those sun passes. It's like a transponder, right? Now, let's say you go underneath one of those toll booth, uh, like, arches, you know, that, like, crosses the entire expressway. So you don't go through a toll booth anymore, but they have the thing. If you don't have a, um, if you don't have a toll pass transponder on your windshield, it'll snap a picture of your license plate. And you yes. get, a, you know, a, a, a thing in the mail. It's not a ticket. It's just, you know, for you to pay for it, right? Yeah. Well, what about this? What if you have that transponder, okay, and you go through one uh, arch, and you got another 10 miles before you hit the next one, right? Well, let's say, you, stop. let's say you get there too quickly, and it times how oh, fast no, you got from no, the first you, one to the second one, and you get a ticket mailed in the mail no, for speeding. The, the, you know what I mean? That, that oh. does happen on the turnpike. That's um, what I'm saying. Yeah. Absolutely, that happens. I heard that's turnpike. popular in Europe, and it's going to come this way. No, no, it happens on Florida Turnpike currently. Does it really? Yeah, it, it's happened since the 90s. Since the 90s? Yes. You've been walking turnpikes since the 90s, homeless <laughs> Chuck? I've been hitching out there. A boy's going to run a little wow. man. No, but, but it does. It, it occurs. We used to travel from Lauderdale back to Tampa, and we used to hustle, and sometimes we'd have to actually slow down and pull up on the side. Yes. That was with their own punch cards. And, <laughs> and, and then currently, I used to go out to the Lowry Park Zoo a while back um, just because I needed to. And uh, but anyhow, uh, if you don't have one of those sun passes, every time that you go under one of those overpasses, it almost charges you double. I would go out to Lowry Park from here and there, and it would charge me like eighteen bucks. Okay, and you would rob a homeless another homeless guy for the eighteen bucks, or what, dude? I mean, no, where are we no, going no, with no. this, Chuck? No, no, I'm just trying to say that the the, the, um, the timing on the interstate thing has been around since the '90s. Look it up. Okay, I believe you. I just you know, I'm. I'm all right, so there's 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 like a couple things about this. One is that I just don't like you know government like being able to send me a ticket through the you know send me a ticket hundred sixty eight dollars. My daughter was driving my car. I've never done it, but I had to pay it for my daughter, and she took a right on a red light. She was totally like you know, but it had the camera. Yeah, hundred sixty eight bucks. I, that was out of my pocket. Same right, thing happened with my ex wife. Did the same thing. I got here's the other thing. My car. You know? Here's the other thing though. Those toll by mail shit that that pisses me off because I'll tell you what I'm driving in the state of Florida, and all of a sudden I get a bill through the mail, and it's out of the state of Georgia that I have to pay my fine to. Why is that? Why is it? I'm in, I'm in Florida, and I have to pay my fine to the state of Georgia. Why is it not going to Tallahassee or something? Why is Georgia even intertwined? But that brings me up something I, I want I don't to know. talk no, no, about. That also brings up, you, you're a resident of Florida. W- w- why should you have to pay all these impact fees and all these wacky little charges? What the fuck are we talking about right now? Well, Get a we're Rob talking Bay about toll by mail. action there, guys. Toll I know, by this. mail. <laughs> Think about this, Jay. I understand the toll by mail thing. They give you an administrative fee for your first toll by mail. It's like six or eight bucks, and then each time you get the thing, every month it resets, and you get like another six or eight dollar administrative charge. I have three of my four kids freaking registered out of state in my freaking vehicle, and yeah. I get like seventy five dollars a month. No, you, I'm just do you kidding. Beat I don't your have kids? that many kids. Do you beat them? Huh? Do you beat I them? I would if you they should. did that to me. I would beat them. I mean, I'll beat your kids. All you right. know what I mean? So what? Let's let's. But they'll probably kick my You're ass. You're not going to beat my kids. <laughs> Hold on real quick. Hey, Pat, shit crazy. My daughter would whoop your ass. <laughs> I know she dude. would, dude. Pat, um, the creamer in there, just so everybody knows, I smelled it. It's it's stale. That's why I was drinking black coffee like a fucking man. Um, but if you could, hand me a, a, a can of, uh, I believe there's Sprites in there. It's Corona. Uh, please. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Cream was bad. Yeah, it's. I, it's oh, I could, thought you were trying to either tell me that there was cream somewhere else, or oh, there's cream somewhere else. Could be listening to us because you left it plugged. If out. you could yeah. cut them up a so line, don't say anything. The if microwaves you, listen to us. So. If you could cut them up a line for that Corona too, <laughs> that'd be really great. Thank you. Yeah, a lime jelly bean will work too. So let, let's stay on automobiles here for a second because okay. I want to. I want to talk about these new vehicles that are coming out with the freaking the automated stop. And the roadside swerve and stuff like that. Dude. Do you see the new co- commercial where they got the, I don't know if it's a Nissan or a Kia or whatever it is, but the guy's got the paint. How many times a day do I swerve out of the road to avoid a bicyclist or a jogger or something like that? And if you have well, if you have for roadside for swerve, swerving. You should just hit them. Yeah, just right, hit right. How many just, points? Just, <laughs> it's a you point could just can. hit them and be yeah. like, my roadside swerve, you know, yeah. did it. How about that, right? 
damn it, slap me if I say that again, please. Jesus Christ, man. Well, no, Jay, I think the I, easiest thing would we do is stop tooling around the high schools and the middle schools <laughs> and things like that, and you won't have to avoid the bicyclists. True. <laughs> like, Listen, don't, don't bring my freaking side <laughs> situation, hobbies. hobbies. Dude, no, but seriously, if when you're driving down the road and you have roadside swerve, and you just go out of the lane yeah. to avoid a biker. Have you driven a car like that? No. Yeah. Dude, when I used to work for a company that rhymes with um, uh, uh, limnical... <laughs> what? <laughs> it rhymes with what? <laughs> I used to work for a company. I, I'm still employed by them. I'm not going to say. But um, I used to deliver cars for car dealerships, and, and I was a courtesy driver, you know, driving people home while their cars were in service, things like oh, that. Oh, yeah, you work for Cox Chevrolet. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Cox. Cox, yeah. You remember okay. Cox Chevrolet? Yeah. Okay. Well, my Kevin was, couldn't <laughs> think of a word that rhymed with Cox. How about rocks or Bons, docks or Bons. 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 Yeah. Anyway, hold on, Chuck. Jesus, you're stupid. Yeah, Listen, uh, Listen uh, Cox. Cox. I, yeah, I, like became, Cox. I became a manager for hey, this company. Any letter in the, uh, any letter in the album that rhymes with <laughs> Thank Cox. you, Pops. Pops. Pops rhymes with it. Yeah. Even Ox. I was you driving for know. Pops Chevrolet. Fox. <laughs> Ox. Anyway, uh, I Jaybird, I delivered uh, vehicles across the state, all over Florida, I and I would drive uh, brand new Cadillacs and Range Rovers that had the that ten miles an hour. You used to call me. I would never admit to that. Be like, I'm doing 110 right now in a brand new Cadillac going mm. over the alligator hey, come alley. Come on, or hey, don't, don't, like, don't knock the guy. I, like, I've heard pops. him brag about the oh, fact yeah. that he used to be, uh, that he has been a professional driver. Thank you, Pops. I appreciate that. I, I do mean, have uh, 14,000 He was driving a car hours. he didn't own, and he was getting paid to do it. So, rah, rah, rah. Let's give him the clap. Oh, good. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. If he drove that many miles, he was at a truck stop, and he got the clap before. Was this like, <laughs> was this like uh, Jason Statham in the uh, Transporter? Sort of. Um, it was more like that other movie uh, where he had to continue to... Uh, Train spotting? Speed? Not speed. <laughs> It doesn't matter. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Loathing and Las I, 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 heard, I heard him say one time he drove so many miles, it was hard for him ever to settle down. Yeah, oh it's it's hard to settle down with all you guys in here. So anyway, my point is that these vehicles had that feature, the okay. uh, the auto anti swerve, and also so the the braking. Dude, I was going down sixty the first time I ever did it, right over the Courtney Campbell Bridge. I was in like an ATS Cadillac, uh, whatever it was, and I'm what color was it? Black. And I was. Sure. Why does it have to be a black? Yeah, why? Because it was, and I was right flying side. down sixty, doing at least one hundred and ten, right? And um, I was like, I don't know, texting and driving, drinking and driving. I don't know what I was doing. I can't remember because I was wasted. I'm just kidding, dude. But no, I was driving it, and the car drifted over a little bit, and the wheel is it violently shakes back and then shakes back the other way to kind of keep it straight. Was seagull? No, just because I swerved a little, I hit the center. It has sensors on it, you know, and it violently did it. So when I got to the next stoplight, I'm hitting every button on the dashboard trying to turn it off, off, man. Yeah, Yeah. it was ridiculous. It really was, man. My thoughts are, Kevin, something like that's going to happen. A seagull or a squirrel in 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 an urban neighborhood or something like that is going to come out, and next thing you know, somebody's going to swerve, they're going to take a kick at it. Yeah, because there's not going to be any seagulls or squirrels in in regular neighborhoods. No, because of poor neighborhoods that have all of these poor animals who are going to ruin your car. Yes. (laughs) They're called cats. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, cops. Is is Kathy in the hotline? the line? Uh, Kathy's in the chat room. Yes, well, she is. And I know she's thinking this. Ah, that candy ass Kevin. <laughs> I put more miles on every year than he probably did. But you got to remember one thing, That's Kathy. That's right. You got to remember one thing, Kathy. You hop in a truck, the same, same truck, same old, same old every day. You know all of its weaknesses, all of its strong points. You know when to when to back off and drive. Poor Kevin. Here is he. Every time he made a trip, he was in a different vehicle. He Thank didn't you, know. Yeah. You know, he didn't know which way, and this was going. My I man. Mean, that makes a lot of difference. So, really, I mean, you yes. you get more credit because you stuck with it. Thank that's, you, pops. That's where he he couldn't he couldn't handle it. And he had to give it up. But well, that's not what happened. I, I, I know Kathy was thinking. Ha ha ha. She Kavina. Kavina. Right? Yeah. Trucker I'm, Kathy. I'm thinking she's got more than a few critters notched on her seatbelt. Oh, yeah, dude. Yesterday, I took my kid to the doctor, and um, no no joke, in the middle of the day, and uh, I was walking through the parking lot, and there was a really nice vehicle, and it had a hummingbird in the grill, and it was, like, sticking out all dead looking, and my little you nine-year-old was like... a hummingbird? No, it wasn't my car. Aww. She goes, Daddy, you look at... her it was a bug? To kill a hummingbird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, you get one. There it is. <laughs> 
but uh, yeah, so she wanted to touch it and see if it was still alive. And I'm like, don't touch it, it's dead. And then she was like, oh my God, because I screamed, it's dead. And anyway, I really didn't do that. But, uh, Mouth to beak. Before, okay, listen, before we get uh, too much further in the show, because yes, we are going to yes, come up on a hard break here I in a few. I want to finish up about this, um, this, all this protection that you have in cars. Yeah, well, let's finish up that then, Jay. Let's finish that up because okay. I have windows in my car right now. You do? Okay. Right, that don't work well. They're automatic windows, and I got to fuck with them sometimes. Right. So they'll close or go up or down. Mm-hmm. So what's going to happen in like 10 years when all these self-driving cars and all this brake assistance and lane swerve starts taking a and shit? You go off into the water? Starts taking a shit. I'm talking about, you know, you're going to have head-on accidents. Yeah. You're going to have all kinds. Of, like, cars are just going to lock it up cars going 90 down the, down the heat. They yes. They can't get out. Are you going to tell me water? this shit's not going to malfunction? We're not going to have major road damage? Think about major this, Major accidents caused by this well, because shit? because we don't have accidents today, artificial intelligence is probably not going to make any more of a dent in our traffic than half the people I see on the Well, no, today. I know, but <laughs> at least you got somebody worse. to blame. Who are you going to blame when freaking it's caused by... Uh, or, or what if it becomes a situation of people are starting to use that as an excuse that, you know, like I swerved head on to a car, but it was my my lane swerve that did it. How are you yeah. going to prove that you're wrong or no, not? No, because, because and it's so connected with the GPSs and stuff. It's actually going to be able to prove that you're lying. Chuck's going to no, say it's, it's got to log it or something like I that. I can't you know? roll my windows it's up not. in my remote control. How no, are you no, going to tell me right that now, this no, lane swerve okay, shit right now, ain't going to mess me up? On nineteen, most of those cameras are not to dictate your speed. They're, they're dictated to most to um, to videotape um, huh? accidents. <laughs> and then when they occur, your, your little your, everything in your car, everything is black box. They so can tell you your braking speed right now. Your vehicle probably even. Has All right, one. so pops, listen. Here's the deal. In about two years, you're going to be able to get in a car and turn it on. And you're going to be able to drive to the grocery store not seeing a goddamn thing where you're going, whatever. It doesn't matter. You're going to be able to go. And if there's an accident, who are you going to blame? Let's let Pops drive Chuck home tonight. You're going to blame the blind guy or are you going to blame the road swerve controller? I'm damn sure not going to have a driver's license and I'm not going to have any freaking insurance. You don't need one. No. You don't need one. The car's going to drive you itself. That's that's where that's where all this shit started when they made us get a fucking driver's license. Yeah, yeah. All right. So anyway, we got Cam Bertrand in yeah. studio here. We got a stand-up comedian over here, and I feel sorry for the guy sitting over here while Che and Chuck argue about uh, you know electronics and vehicles. And uh, this poor guy over here is chomping at the bit. He just wants to tell you both to shut the fuck up, right, Cam? I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, I was like, did you just set okay. me up? Is that what this is? Did you? <laughs> We're used to it. I'm joking. I'm nah, joking. man, it's fun. It's a uh, it's like trying to take in all this knowledge. Oh, wow. Knowledge, yeah. dude. Thank you for the uh, yes. yeah. Knowledge. Well, how many traffic tickets do you actually currently have? I've honestly gotten like eight. Do you really? Yeah. I got, I got like a lot of points on my license. Why? Like an unnecessary amount. Are you like, it, do you like drag race? Uh, no. Like, I don't, I'm not even, I'm just the guy who like as soon as I go five over, woo, like it's immediate. Uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. it's the hoodie. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. And my Hyundai. No, that's not a Hyundai. I see what you drove. That's my mom's Jeep. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. That's a nice one. You should trade her. You know, it's yeah. I should trade her. Uh, she won't trade. I had a brand new Hyundai back in '08, and uh, I got wrecked three times. But guess who didn't wreck it? This guy right here. Yeah. Ex-wife wrecked it a bunch of times. But uh, that's neither here nor there uh, either. You know, that's a whole other story. But Cam, uh, I've I've checked out some of your stand-up. Now I don't get out a lot. Mm-hmm. You know, like I've been trying to get out to see Johnny B. I think Johnny B is hilarious. I've worked with Johnny a lot. Yeah, Johnny's, I've noticed. Johnny's yeah. put me on like a lot of shows. Like That's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, I haven't I haven't been lucky enough. Now I know that he's coming uh, to Brennan's. I want to say in April, which is right over in Holiday, not far from here. Mm, I used to close that bar like here, twice yeah. a week when I was in my twenties and thirties. When yeah. I used to work right across the street from it, and uh, so I'm very very familiar with the people that own it and all that stuff. So I can't wait to try and get out there for that. Do you know um, who else is on that show? I don't. I uh, just I briefly looked at it um, mm-hmm. like have yesterday. You ever done so, Kevin? have I ever done stand up? That is negative. I have. Um, Kevin doesn't even stand up to pee. <laughs> 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 to be fair, neither do I. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's overrated. It's overrated. It is. Yeah. I mean, I'm a stall oh, kind of guy. You know. <laughs> my mic shut off. No, your mic is on, pops. I would never shut your mic off. I got a question for the. How come? Oh, he's not talking into his. That's why I can't. Yeah, Pat doesn't have a mic. So if you want to lean over to somebody's mic, that'd be a lot easier. Just put it back by pops and just lean in. You're fine. I got a question for the sit-in guest. Yeah. How the 
heck. <laughs> did you, my kids might listen to you. Yeah. Talking did you ever microphone. have the nuts to stand up on a freaking stage and, ju- you know, just assume people are going to think you're funny and do that? Because to me, that would be the ultimate fear. Mm-hmm. And I've been everywhere, what? you know, I mean, I see yeah. no shit. I couldn't do that. What scares you the most, Cam, when you get up there? Uh, I do anything. Well, when you first start, the fear is, are, am I funny? Right. And then after a while, you, you kind of trust yourself because you, you've done it enough. And so, yeah, when you first start, you're like, how do I know if this is funny? How did you, you first go out there? Uh, the first set I did there? was at Side Splitters. And, uh, Jesus, dude, that's a big place. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it was, was it an open mic night? Or? I started at the open mic, but uh, my first set, as soon as I got off stage, they gave me a competition show. And then uh, I got to do the main stage a month after. Did wow. you write sure. your own stuff? Yeah. Stuff be- you prepared course, before you. Yeah. You weren't just there with friends, too drunk, and said, "I'll do it." Okay. No, I, I, I you you open your some shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, considering my behavior and uh, how do you deal with the hecklers? Oh, that's oh man. See, that's what's funny is uh, everybody thinks that hecklers are such like a. Uh, Oh my god, yeah, what if somebody it's heckles like fire, it? isn't it? It's, but it's like you have the microphone. It's gas on the fucking fire. Yeah, like you have the microphone, you're going to win regardless, right? Cuz even if cold. even if you say something incredibly funny, if I acknowledge that it was funny, I still won. Cuz everybody's like even he can acknowledge that he he lost that one and it's yeah. still a win. But 9 times out of 10 I'm shutting it down. Like it's <laughs> it's funny for somebody cuz most heckles are from drunk dudes and drunk dudes right. are just like ah, you're skinny and then I'm like oh we're doing this let's, <laughs> let's do this bring it on that's it's like, awesome okay. yeah, it's like having a superpower against a dude who's just not capable of fighting back that, right. yeah. now, have you ever felt so um, have you ever felt uh, fearful Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, for the first like two years, man, you you can't even eat. No, the no, day no of the I, show. I, I meant fearful, right. like like um, you're out there, you know, and you're poking the bear. Oh, uh, nah, not really. I mean, I've done some stuff about like Bill Cosby and stuff where people are like oh, fuck uncomfortable. Bill Cosby. Yeah, Bill Cosby. <laughs> but and, uh, Cam, aren't they? They're there to have a good time and laugh. That, so, the majority of people isn't it kind of challenging to piss somebody off? Then you know, I mean, not no. even that because I mean, mo- if if it's a show, people paid to see the show, yeah. and it's like he, they didn't pay to just be annoyed. But if they're getting annoyed, they didn't come in with a good sense of humor to begin with. Heard. Yeah. So it's like you can only laugh at what we want to laugh at. That's not that's not how this works. Right. What do you think of some of these um, recent comment uh, comics uh, in the mainstream that have gotten up on stage um, in large you know venues? And have gone on political rants. Do you think that's... Uh, I think it depends who it is and what their intent is. Sure. Because there, there's some guys who will say some outlandish things, but they their heart's in the right place, and like they mean to just try to make the world better, and then other guys are just too ignorant to, to defend the argument they're making. Yeah. If it's in their ass. Yeah, if it, yeah uh, there's, there's guys who fun. make their whole career being political. Lewis Black's a very political comedian. Uh, Dennis uh, Miller. Harlan. Yeah, yeah just been, like... Carl, yeah, Carlin. Jesus. Christ. You know, George Carlin was more the anti-politics yeah. type comedian. Yeah, but he, he spoke to he spoke to the masses. Man. True. Yeah. 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 You they, can tell if somebody's got an agenda, though. Yeah. If you if you can do comedy like that, if you can do comedy like that without coming off as having an agenda, I think it's like your magic. Right? Well, in comedy, you have to be able to defend both sides. Any argument you're making, whether you're pro this or, or anti this, you have to be able to argue both sides in order to know which one's yours. Mm-hmm. All right. So if you're like. Uh, I'm against pop rocks. You also have to understand why somebody would like pop rocks, so you but can. Do you so that, take a stand? Do I take a stance on on something? What's I your mean, position? I'm pop 23. Rocks. Oh, I love pop <laughs> rocks. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm not talking about pop yeah. rocks. I'm just saying with the way that the politics <laughs> even flow. Um, are, are you more about you know, just what is pop at the moment? Do you actually take a stand? This is weird thing. So, like, being 23, they, they don't really want you to talk about certain things. Like, I understand that if I were to go political and really have an, an opinion on that, I'm not old enough to be able to defend it logically. Uh, okay. Right? So, I kind of stay in the middle where it's like, I believe what I believe, but I also haven't lived enough to, to have a full opinion yet. Yeah. So, it's like, I can only... I can only talk about what I know right now. Understood. Yeah, yeah you haven't lived through a lot of the, the, yeah, the decades of and presidencies, and you know. Yeah, it's it's easy for somebody to go, "Oh, I feel this way," but <laughs> you you don't know how you feel yet, you know. Yeah. What's up, pops? Isn't isn't the toughest crowd one that don't that don't do anything, especially if they don't laugh yeah. and they don't clap? And <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, 
Those are the, those that, are the hardest that's ones. That's really a bitch. Because yeah. you don't know their reaction. Yeah, so I'd, rather, I'd you rather you react one way or the other. Yeah. Either laugh yeah. or just You'd be rather like, have Mackley yeah. than to just it's sit like, there. Exactly. Or yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would, if I got up in front of a bunch of people, that would be if I said a few jokes or I come off with a few things and I got no reaction, yeah. I'd, I'd be fucked. I yeah. mean, but if I got a good reaction, I, I could... I could keep it on going. You know? That's what's funny is everybody thinks that like booing's the worst part. Booing's not the worst. If you really yeah. want to hurt a comic, do nothing. Don't, yeah. Yeah. Do yeah, nothing. Yeah, exactly. yeah, just yeah. stare exactly. at him and just just yeah. make him uncomfortable. You just fucking melt. Huh? Yeah, because like you you can't do anything if you don't get a reaction. If if there's just no reaction, you're like. Yeah, tell us yeah. about your worst show. I mean, I, you, I, you, I love oh, this. Just, I have had. You, you, you just you, you feel that like you just flopped, man. Yeah, uh, I did a show one time uh, in Haines City at a flea market. <laughs> and the crowd was two people, and by people I mean two twelve-year-olds. Jesus, dude. they were twelve. Holy shit, did they laugh? I had to talk did you to them. It was weird. Dogs or I didn't sell no corn dogs. I just kind of like did talk you know shit about Haines City the whole time. Uh, no, I wish <laughs> I wish I'd have done that now. How, uh, how long was that? Get paid. How long was did that set? I got paid in a bottle of water. Oh. Yeah, because Haines City has no funds. Yeah. Imagine if Chuck was doing comedy in front of two 12 year olds. <laughs> <laughs> um, He's not allowed within drink. 500 feet of 12 no, year olds, man. I, I would call it Dick I'd rather have this guy right here. On the what, uh, what, a birthday party? <laughs> not even, man. The, the guy who marketed the show was like, it's going to be a. F- uh, what did he call? It? He called it a charity event. There was going to be over five hundred people, and oh, it was a God, it was a baby, festival God, and a flea market and blah. blah and I was like, <laughs> I had no like I had no Kevin's idea it was a flea market. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah it was you know, Cam, speaking of <laughs> speaking of being paid, um, we've got a couple of bottles of water in there, and some coffee. You know, <laughs> yeah, I've already doubled up. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, man, gather what food you can here from tonight. Yeah. And, 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 and I wish you the best. Thanks. Don't pay <laughs> until after the show, man. I, uh, oh yeah, yeah. He, he's got to do the full eight hours. Hours, man. Yeah. I did. Uh, <laughs> I did this other show where this uh, this sh- armless midget was heckling me, and then he Jesus. wanted to fight me afterwards, <laughs> and it was so nice. absurd. He was the worst person I've ever met in my life. He was just so wow. mean for no reason. You're fucking wow. with a mean did I, didn't, I didn't say I anything to him, and he like was just a being mean. Gonna come running at you. It was so weird. Do? I, I would have been like, like, how about a hand job, little guy? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's why Jay's not a stand-up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, where's that little guy? He was an animal's midget guy. You, you know what, what I, you I would have done to him if it ever happens to you again? Yeah. But can you imagine if you were shot say, alive? Charlie there, the little, the little guy. You know what his problem is? He married a woman at six six, <laughs> and he says, she, I, "When when they asked him how life was, he said everything was great until we went to bed." Goes, What's wrong when you go to bed? I said, "No, no. He's, when I'm no, when we're toes to toes, my nose is in it. When nose to nose, my toes are in it." That <laughs> <laughs> would have shut his ass up. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, that guy was so mean. Well, I mean, I'm sure it wasn't half bad, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking clever. Uh, that's you, why I'm not a stand up. <laughs> What are you offering me that? I don't do that. No. Oh, okay. It was, okay. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I, I dated a woman once on the day and had a stroke at a very young age, and um, <laughs> she was like thirteen. <laughs> 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 no, I, I met her at, uh, at one of these uh, little St. Pete uh, First Friday things, and you, you talk about like, like dating. We want to talk about dating people with afflictions. Where are we? I'm sorry, I dated <laughs> a whole new topic. <laughs> That had been bugging him all night. Yeah. Was like, I really want to talk about this. Me. It's coming up on our anniversary of her stroke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chuck. Uh, thank. I'm glad you got that off your chest, man. It was. It was. <laughs> That's what we're here for, man. The Kevin Holly Show is here for therapy. therapy. This is a vent exactly. session. We're just yeah. gonna. I'm, my dad left me when I was. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll be Chuck's therapist, or what is You're it? The, the rapist. Your dad was left-handed. Mine was right. <laughs> look, look at this bruise right here. <laughs> I'm, I'm everybody's therapist, Pat. And and Jaybird's the rapist. I just oh, no, 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 Jay said I'm his the guy therapist. was right handed. He's my therapist. I'm the therapist. Okay. I need more therapists. Therapist. Yeah. Anyway. Therapist, not the no, therapist, no, you, 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 therapist. No. What's the animal with the long snout? Um, a giraffe? An anteater? No. Armadillo? No, no, it's a big I rodent. An anteater? I, I, ter- I terapist this. Elephant. Elephant. A terapist. A terapist. A terrapinist? A Thank you for that that uh, insight, I'm Chuck. Gonna hit you it's fantastic, man. My nose right isn't that long, dude. I'm, I got a short little stubby nose, man. Nothing on Jay's really that God, long, dude. Because you can <laughs> try to put it up everybody's what? ass whenever you can. 
<laughs> anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are again hey, sitting in my with penis uh, on my nose, and I wouldn't even pass for a possum. All right. <laughs> we'll go ahead and follow up the penis on the nose bit with uh, Cam Bertrand in, in the house tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Cam, where uh, where can we see you uh, coming? I know you're going to be in Atlanta coming up, right? Yeah, I'm doing the uh, Laugh and Skull Comedy Festival. Oh, I'll sure. be there in May. Yeah, sweet. Very yeah, cool. there was over 800 submissions, and I made top 72. Nice, dude. It's gonna be a lot of water. Insane. Jumping, baby, yeah. jump. It's gonna, be nuts, it's gonna get a man. lot of water for that. Yeah, it's <laughs> a lot of water, dude. Now, Have now, you ever Ken, been to Atlanta? Yeah, I went last year. I got to do the festival last year. It was great. That's cool. Atlanta That's great. awesome. Wow. Atlanta's got that big underground underground city they call it, like yeah, all the clubs no. and everything. I haven't. Um, I've driven past it. I got a couple of friends that live there, but I've never actually stayed there uh, for more than a few hours. So Dude, I can't their comedy scene is great. I bet it they is. Got man. some great comics. Now um, Atlanta, Atlanta, yeah. yeah. My daughter was going to do a freaking stand up comedy act, and part of it was like, yeah, if you see a girl smoking Newports on the side of the road. Uh, she might not have a black child, but she's expecting. <laughs> <laughs> that was part of her line. She had a whole freaking lineup, dude, and she was funny. I think she should have done if it. You're not black or gay, then what the hell are you doing in Atlanta? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, man. Uh, where's my dump button, man? I don't have one. Wow. No, so, seriously, when was the last time you were in Atlanta, Kevin? Ch- Chuck, we're not going to go there, dude. Come on. When was the last time you were in Atlanta? Uh, I was in Atlanta about know. four years ago, five Does years. The skyline even when do we take creepy? Tyler? Up? No, maybe five, five, six years ago or so. The skyline even looks. I creepy. hate it. Atlanta. It looks like I love Atlanta. Dark, I think it's cool. Dark, um, Ever yeah, since the Olympics the in the nineties, they redid the all the city, expressways man. and everything. You know, it's pretty oh, nice. Sorry, it scares the shit out of me. Anyway, uh, Cam, what about uh, uh, March and April? What's coming up uh, locally? Dude, I got a bunch of stuff, man. I'm, I'm, all, yeah, I'm yeah. all over. You got like uh, every other day, it looks like coming yeah, up. Yeah, my 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 schedule's very nice. Like it it feels good to not be like, oh, I don't have anything coming up. Like, yeah. uh, I'll be at Side Splitters with Carl Lebove. Carl Lebove came up with uh, Sam nice. Kinison. Yeah, yeah, if y'all know Sam Kinison, they were yeah. road dogs. They were friends together. He's amazing. Uh, yeah, cool. I'll be with him in April. Uh, I'm at Snappers this weekend. Cool. Snappers? Thursday yeah. and Saturday. That's right off by Innisbrook, right on 19. Not yeah. far from here. Thursday, we could do that. Dude, if I was out in the audience, because this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to just be like, I love you. I will never let you go. <laughs> I'm just I've never heard such up. nice heckles. <laughs> I'm just going to stand up and yell at you. give him kisses all night long. Yeah. We'll just be all, uh, me and Chuck will just be in the background. I've, I've had some weird, I've had some weird stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I did a show in Daytona, and this uh, this guy in the front row, like maybe five, six minutes into my set, he goes, "You got a pretty mouth," and I was like, "That's a," I was like, "That's a weird heckle." Like that sounds like a back of the room heckle. That's something I I shouldn't be able to see you say that. So for like the rest of the show, I was just avoiding eye contact with this dude. I was like, "This is this is uncomfortable." Right, you expect him to say say that to somebody else. Yeah. You're so close, you can actually see the gleam in his yeah, yeah, he, and it was Even weird because, like, uh, the the way the room was set up, uh, they were all like regular tables and chairs, but the the where he was sitting is right in front of the stage, and it was a couch. So he was just lounging on a couch, and he was like, well, "You got a pretty mouth." Him. Yeah, he's pretty big. He was with a woman too. It was real weird. He was with like his wife. Yeah. 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 Did she have both her hands? Uh, she she, she, she looked like his husband. Like she was a large woman man. Can you imagine are you that? sure she was always female? I don't know. I don't know. I bet he doesn't check that kind of stuff. Check. Well, imagine that, dude. I wish check I would have checked that. One, two, your crush. Check one, two. <laughs> dude, Cam's up there doing his bit, right? He looks over, and that dude's like kind of lounged out on the couch, showing a little brain, you know, yeah. his shorts or something. Like, oh, great. Oh, man. Yeah. A little baby beef and a little yeah. brain. Now, Cam, you're you're a tall, handsome dude. Uh, Thanks. Very young. You're welcome. Um, do you no, ever have any funny. chicks like throw their panties or bras <laughs> up on the stage? <laughs> I wish that's what comedy was like. I wish. I wish I could do that. Nah, man. Nobody I throws that panties. It's still full of booze and blood. I, I mean, since Frank oh, yeah, Sinatra had some around. lobsters, Pam, pay paychecks to do it to him. <laughs> Believe us, oh. we all wish that's what podcasting was like. Yeah. 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 Hey, this Who's is not a podcast. No. This is an internet oh, radio internet show. Internet man. radio show. Yeah, yeah, get it right, man. There's no Apple I, I, anything in here. I, 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 I got to disagree. I never went for that. I, I always went for what they had inside of their pants. I never was interested in their panties. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Steve. Wow, pops, a little vulgar tonight, man. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> 
I just said, wow, Pops, a little vulgar tonight. That's all. I mean, I'm not going to lie to Kevin's you. Kevin's going to get a spanking on this. I know. That's what I'm going for. First break. <laughs> the most action I've seen in a while. Come here, Kevin. Uh, get over my knee. Hey, uh, Kathy's in the chat room, and you she told says... Me uh, after the 69th show, we wouldn't have to do this again, but it's going to have to happen. <laughs> you told me I already paid my dues. <laughs> Kathy what says... Kathy uh, got to she says that this is the second uh, funny show out of 83 episodes. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. Appreciate the that. what? <laughs> it's the second what the hell funny show. Kathy, Kathy uh, Chuck, I don't know if you've paid attention to the last four or five weeks that you haven't been in. Um, yeah, he doesn't listen. Yeah, Chuck, no, I, I don't. Which, the which senior the analyst first? hasn't analyzed anything. Analyzed anything? What, babe? Which uh, sir? That's his golden babe. Come on, babe. You call them babe? Oh my god! What's up, babe? Yeah. That is oh, babe. hilarious. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, okay, better yet. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, yes. Oh I, I know how you feel right now. Okay. Yeah, oh, I've I've done that. It's a weird moment. moment. I misspoke. I misspoke. Yeah. Excuse me, boo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's up, <laughs> No, Kevin. Kevin what was your first thing? favorite? No, no. Pat. That should be uh, the first question anybody asks. Okay, yeah. Kathy, what was your first favorite episode of the Kevin Holly show? And then we just wait for a response. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what we do. No, I don't know who's number two. Kathy, and why is she even part of the show? Oh, Chuck. Uh, okay, here's. Uh, let me just break it down for you. Um, this is an internet radio show. People listen to it. Sometimes they go in the chat room and interact with us. Hey, look at him. He's having a seizure, man. Are you okay, dude? <laughs> Hold on. Somebody shoot him here. <laughs> they hit him. Get him. Oh, dude, you knocked his teeth out. Chuck, can you can you just pull him out and hang it and put him back in? No, let's keep him in there. Okay, never mind. Yeah. No, take him out. Sorry. Boo? I had to do it. It was figuring out good. It's better when he takes him out. Boo. Boo. It's figuring out good. Hey, Chuck, do you know why, um, Holy do you know why shit. Alter Boy's, do you know why Alter Boy's hair is parted down the middle? Oh, yeah. Like, I'll tell you later. It's <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's not really a good joke for radio, I guess, because no, I can't no, see no, it. That's anyway, that's another reason why I'm not a stand-up. All right, who the hell is Kathy? Let's get back to this. Uh, she's a truck driver that listens to our show, and she oh, knows God bless people. You. I love you, Kathy. How are your wheels rolling, baby? <laughs> what the f- <laughs> Anyway, listen, we're going to go ahead and take our first break. Um, we are up against a hard up? break. Huh? Is she lubed up for the night? Dude, you don't want to mess with Kathy, I'm telling you right now, Chuck. I'm just saying. I mean, you could get Kathy. Chuck wants to know if you're lubed up tonight, and she says uh, two episodes ago was her favorite one. Um, that would be 81, right? No, I wasn't here, of course. Of course, you weren't here. Exactly. That's two episodes ago. When I what called that? Mm-hmm. Uh, I it, it, it could be the, the episode mm-hmm. that you called in there, Pat. Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure. Maybe. I don't know. Is she familiar with the song maybe about um, the rubber duck? Pops duck. was here two weeks ago. Um, maybe it was Pops. Is she familiar probably with was. the song, the 70s songs? Uh, the rubber duck, uh, putting the hammer down, the suicide jockey. Uh, you, you, remember, you remember that seventy songs trucking through the night? Oh my she God. may, Kathy's she may. Gonna know through I'll the tell night. you what, why don't you follow her on Facebook, and then you can give her a direct I, message I in the middle of the night and ask her, and she'll ask you for a dick pic, that's well, what she does. Just follow her in person, man. You know, <laughs> let's, you know let's go I old school. I can't skateboard let's. that fast behind the goddamn 18 wheeler. Yeah. Just, dude, you're homeless. Just jump in the back of it like it's a train, man. What's with the Moving silence? Down. Whenever I tell a joke, <laughs> it gets no, silent. I thought, I thought you were going further with it. I was oh. like, yeah, keep going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> say what else is going to do. He, what was it? The 70s song. <laughs> it was right around uh, Kung Fu Finding, Trucking Through the Night. They had the rubber duck, the suicide oh, jockey, dear. the bear. It would be a great break song. Was it BJ and the bear? No, no. I was moving through the night, trucking through the night. I, 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 it was the rubber duck. I was the bear. I um, mean, they had all these crazy albums about him. Chris Christoffers. Oh, yeah, I think he actually Seriously? wrote that. Um, Trucking Through the Night, yeah. I, I have no Dynamite. idea, Chuck. I, no, look up. Convoy! That's the name of it. Oh, Convoy. Con- Convoy, moving through the night. I can't wait to hear it. I really, I can't That's wait. the highway, man. No. Does this sound right? There we go, baby! It's going to break, man. This is going to be Chuck talking to Kathy later tonight. Holy shit, hold on, hold on, hold on. Glick in the chat room says it's convoy. He knows it. Yeah. <laughs> glick it, man. You don't need Google. Glick it is Just click it. Isn't How do you make Chuck quiet down even though he doesn't have a microphone? Arizona, noon on the seventh of June when they highballed over the pass. Bulldog Mac with a can on back and a Jaguar <laughs> hauling ass. He's ten on the floor, stroking boars, seat cover starting to gain. 
But now, Beaver, you a trucking with a rubber duck, and I'm about to pull a plug on your drink. Oh, boy. Love this. This is fucking classic, man. I, you know what, Chuck? You, you're back on the show. You're hired, bro. <laughs> Music was so easy back then. Yeah, yeah. All you had to do was talk you. about your day to a beat. You remember the night Chicago died? That's all he was doing was talking about his day to a beat. I went to the store and bought some ham, and then I bought a can of green beans. I went to the store. Like, that was yeah, so I'm easy to make music so back then. I, I just oh. wrote everything about music. describing rap, too. Yeah, the well, music no, in I, general I, I is just talking about your day. That's what ever. Snoop Dogg is did. <laughs> I think <laughs> rap is more like, with. it's like an angry nursery rhyme over a beat. You yeah. know, like a nursery yeah. rhyme with curse or, words or, in it. Or just a shorter poem. Because I think Zappa even is <laughs> the best, you know, the girl from Dynamo Hum. Uh, or how about Dynamo Hum, Dynamo Hum? I'm not looking up anymore your weird songs, Chuck. No, I'm sipping on my thumb. <laughs> it's not a weird song. Whatever. Dynamo Hum. Or how about... Um, how about this? I'll give you how about break. we take our first break? How about... I almost said it again, man. <laughs> I almost said it again. <laughs> yeah, God, I'm going to... What? Can yeah, we kick you in the balls if you oh. say it again? If you can try, Jim. Okay, I, I can take one. No, one please one don't kick me in the nuts, man. Jake, this is what? one ball. Because I do like a Newton's cradle thing, you know? And it's uncomfortable, man. You could get four of Kevin balls in there. <laughs> <laughs> you would know. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, like Jaybird, what day is today? What day is today again? Today Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. Thank you. All right. Thank <laughs> you, What? It's March 15th. Uh, it is, actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm not marching All right. anywhere, you what fuck. I'm lazy. Is it? It's it's March. Which, no. when we get back, ladies like, and gentlemen, we need to talk about St. Patrick's what? Day, which oh, is yeah. what it means to each and every What it means to Kevin, Oh, to I can't you. wait for this. That'll our lead me... Perceptions, our perceptions of what St. Patrick's Day is. Listen, that's going to lead me into uh, one of two new segments on the Kevin Holly no, show. No. Well, what, what is your perception of St. Patrick's Day? What is his perception? Yeah, we get that, Chuck. We understand where we're going with that. I'm going to hit you with this one, fucking idiot. It's going to be... Uh, there's a new segment that I wanted to, uh, to do on the show. It's called... Uh, it's called um, comedy that didn't make the show. <laughs> oh, we talked about yeah. that earlier. Hey, Kevin. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know what? You know what Saturday is? Um. <laughs> oh my God! That's no, cool. what's Saturday? It's the day after St. Patrick's Day. Okay. Huh? Okay. Saint fucking my head hurts. Twentieth anniversary of my daughter's death. Oh, how about? God, I'll set it again. Wow. All right, I'm sorry, Pop. So we've talked about this before. Um, maybe next week we could do... Uh, yeah, I think we did that last year. Yeah, maybe next well, week we, we could, could do something do like, um, yeah. for that. You read a poem last year. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. read a poem. No, we that was like two years ago. I think it was two years ago, right when we started this, yeah. No, yeah, it was two years ago now. Chuck, there's no way it was three years ago. Yeah, because when he first no, started... No, no, it wasn't three. We've only been going a little I mean, over two, so... We've got about 100 episodes, so that's not even two years. We're coming up on two years. So I don't have about this shit for a long time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back uh, with more of the Kevin Holly Show after right, uh, this quick break. Here alone. I, I don't have the heart to do it. Hi, this is Sharon Buckless. I am the dominatrix Selena Krause from the upcoming Scorpion Girl. And I am happy to be on the Kevin Holly Show.
thought was over Checking myself in Yet it was just weeks before that Car was total I'm staying at my dance Hot time I thought I was clever Who am I fooling? We all know I'm sick I think it's fun, it's just been More news, more talk, more fat girls. It's the Kevin Holly Show. Looking at the pictures of the past are staring back at me. Knowing that my life is just a series of the roads I take someday. I'd be full of dreams and aspirations Man, I couldn't wait to see what i become All the things I would achieve Never knowing where it takes you Finding out you need it all The things you always took for granted I can't believe I could not see Grudges I held in my soul All that really matters are The things that always kept us close Holding on To family, love and hope
on the other side. Hey, thanks for listening to the Lou Toby. Louis Toopy Show. Then listening to the Kevin Holly Show on the Internet Radio Network. And now for more stereotypes that are obviously not true. We don't like tennis shoes, we wear sandals, and yet we have sex with goats and ride camels. <laughs> I live in the desert of Abu Dhabi, so I squat behind a cactus when I have two potty. Throw your tongue on the R's Whoop, drop the bomb, Allah who I car I played the flute and snakes come out of jars I caught a flight plane, didn't get far And you might not believe it, man But during the winter, I ski in sand And the TSA was like, man How did you get out of Iraq? I ran, damn Watch out, watch out Rashid's got a bomb Watch out, watch out Abdul Jabbar got a bomb Watch out Amir's got a bomb Watch out, watch out Malcolm X got a bomb I'm a billionaire, check my Equifax Always wearing turbans and bedsheet hats An Arabian day in the life See, I have ten leashes, one for each wife And I have ten bombs, one for each flight That I put my wives on, they speak with that permission Then, mommy, look, there's a plane in the air and I swear, it was just there we're all Muslim, Salam, and we all live in a cave, Saddam, where we all eat lots of hummus, yum. My first website was thebomb.com, um. And you might not believe it, man, but during the winter, I ski in sand, and the TSA was like, man, how did you get out of Iraq? I ran, damn. Watch out, watch out. Hussein got a bomb. Watch out, watch out. Ramir Ashid got a bomb. Obama got a bomb. Watch out, watch out. Osama bin Laden got a bomb. Well, not anymore. Don't touch my hat, it's sacred. I can make all my wives get naked. I have a phobia, I'm afraid of it. You need RVG, I can make it. We own many marks and gas stations. But people buy beer to get wasted. Like 9 11 victims, I take whoa, whoa, my. Whoa, 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 dude, you don't. What? No, Why? you don't say that. Why wasted you like 9 11 victims? Fuck no, we don't say that shit in America. Oh, I, you might say that I shit didn't... over in Lebanon and Afghanistan, wherever the fuck you're from. I but didn't... in America, you get your ass killed out here, boy. I'm, I'm sorry. Take that shit out the lyrics. I, okay, right now, I, before I shove I, a cactus I didn't up your sandy I, ass. I, I'm right now, I ain't playing. Okay, I'm. I, shit. I'm, shit. I'm. I'm erasing it. I. I erased it. It's, it's, Throw that damn falafel in the trash and focus. It's, it's gone, sir. I'm. I'm sorry. <sighs> Cue the goddamn music. As the world waits for my plans to unfoil, during spring I jet ski on oil, and I bummed all sorts of different places. And the TSA is the most racist. They be like, Watch out! Watch out! Rashid's got a bomb. Watch out, watch out. Abdul Jabbar got a bomb. Watch out, watch out. Amir's got a bomb. Watch out, watch out. Malcolm X got a bomb. Watch out, watch out. Hussein got a bomb. Watch out, watch out. Rodney Rashid got a bomb. Watch out, watch out. Obama got a bomb. Watch out, watch out. Osama bin Laden got a bomb. It's worse than throwing cats in the river. It's the Kevin Holly Show on the IRN Internet Radio Network.
13 like a paradise Look into my soul for love for Mary Jane Spider-Man, Coach Peter Parkin On the plane, everywhere I go, everything I say Never back down cause we're here to stay Because I roll up Let it up, 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 let it up
Just like Charlie Sheen, I'm a winner. This radio person is the whole problem. Are we going to allow this guy to be heard by anyone who can turn a dial? I've got a pirate radio station. Nobody knows who he is. You out there? You listening? Welcome back, everybody. We're, uh, we're back from the first break here live on the Kevin Holly Show. Hit us up on Twitter at Kevin Holly Show 4. That's number 4. Also, the uh, hotline tonight is 727-237-6010. And uh, we got Pops and Cam Bertrand in the house right now. Everybody else is downstairs still taking their break. I don't know if they're eating tacos or what they're doing, but it uh, doesn't really matter because we're here. The glue that keeps the show together, Pops. And uh, Cam here, we're talking about old movies Pops is uh, talking to Cam about old black and white movies, Catherine Hepburn, things like that. And uh, I was actually kind of impressed with Cam's uh, knowledge of older movies. I'm not uh, much of a movie guy myself, but... Love movies. Yeah, you know, movies are great. Don't get me wrong. We've had a lot of guests on the show that are... You see the wall of fame here? Yeah. Um, a lot of these guys are actors, actresses, producers, directors. Um, I'll, I'll show you later if you're interested. Uh, we've had a lot of people on the, the show recently. Last week we had... Uh, a beautiful, uh, talented actress by the name of Lisa London, and uh, her new movie is coming out. It's called Holy Terror. Mm. It's a uh, horror movie that you can catch on um, Amazon Prime, of all things. Yeah, the the new thing is uh, streaming movies, dude. Yeah, it's amazing. We've had so many uh, really cool um, actresses in the last uh, I don't know, year or so that are famous for a lot of movies that were in the '80s and '90s. Um, some of the hotter women you see on the Wall of Fame there are from movies like Airplane 2, uh, Lisa or Lorene Landon there. Um, and uh, we've had uh, a whole host of different people. So um, definitely check out the show reel if you're listening to us right now. Uh, you can download any episode you want for free. We don't charge anybody. We're on iTunes. We're on um, uh, Spreaker, Stitcher. Uh, we have our own tune-in channel. You can also check us out on the IRN, the Internet Radio Network. We are syndicated on the IRN, so check that out as well. A lot of really good shows. Uh, one of my favorites, Hoppy Hour. And uh, we talked about how um, about uh, two weeks ago I was down at Hoppy's house and a SWAT team raided his neighbor's house while I was there. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. But I wish can... they would have raided Hoppy's house. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I was there, dude. But uh, Cam Cam knows Hoppy and has been on Hoppy Hour before, which is pretty cool. So you can definitely check that out as well. I know that if you go on Spreaker.com, that's with an R, Spreaker.com, uh, check out Hoppy Hour and uh, scroll through his show reel, and you can find the episode where uh, Cam. I think you were on that show twice, right? I think I was on three. Three of them. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So that's definitely fun right there. Um, it's all about fun. We have a fun page, too. Jay Bird, you know all about the fun page, man. Go on Facebook. We don't just have the Kevin Holly Show page, but we also have the Kevin Holly Show fun page where you can post whatever you want as long as it's not hateful or involves kids. We don't... Uh, homie, don't play that. But uh, anyway, so uh, we got everybody back. We got Homeless Chuck. We got Jay Bird. We got Pops. We got Pat Shit Crazy. Pat Bergie, the author of PFC40book.com. Go check that book out. The 40-Year-Old Private. And uh, check out Pat on Thursday nights on Spreaker, the voice of the veteran. Uh, he hosts a show which is... Um, uh, in its early stages, but it's pretty badass. If you're into anything um, regarding the the you know the news, um, the recent news, if you will, uh, with the CIA leaks, uh, Pat was in, uh, uh, in the military and then uh, was a, a defense contractor, right? Uh, Department of Defense. Yeah. 
Uh, you were an information security officer, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes. And, uh, yeah, so check out uh, Pat's uh, show, Voice of the Veteran. It's a lot of fun, but it's also very educational. So um, you learn a little bit of insight from at. that. What's that? As soon as they figure out where we're at. Uh, I know. Dude, on the way here tonight, I saw two black helicopters again. I mean, I've, I've never seen black helicopters in the sky in Newport Ritchie. And I come to the dump tower. And uh, yeah, I see him every every Wednesday night, man. I don't understand what the hell that's all about. I think it's because of Pat, man. Yeah. Could be. It could be, but uh, anyway, look, look, we've got a couple of new segments that I wanted to uh, to try out tonight, and uh, one of them has a lot to do with Chuck and Lori B. And now I know Lori B is in the uh, the chat room. For those of you who don't know, Lori B is my fiance, and she's also uh, hi, Lori B. Uh, well, hi, hey. All right. <laughs> she's also a better a, half. Be, the better half is soon to be. She's also a uh, um, half. an honor personality on the show. She has sat in on the show before, and she has and contributed she a, a few things. Song an hour ago. Uh, listen, dude, I gave her the microphone at the house. I got the little mini home studio set up for doing like you know editing and things like that. And she took it upon herself to make a few things. I'm gonna go ahead and play them right now. This is uh, uh, one of the bumpers that she made for the show. You ready for this? This is pretty I'm awesome. Not it's, I'm talking about Lori B's bumper right here. Here you go, Chuck. You ever have an itch that wouldn't go away? Kind of like Kevin. <laughs> okay. Wow, that was fucking entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're a dick. I'm sitting on the edge of my uh, two-store seat. In honor of uh, Jay's hero, Bubba the Love Sponge, she did one of these. Kevin! Kevin! Shut the dog up! <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was why, funny. Why was that... Why is, why because you used to be a bubble mark back in the day, man. So was everybody. Uh, I actually, I listened so to you. What, are you, yeah. what happened to Bubba? Where's Bubba now? He's on AM radio now. Yeah. He's We're not going to talk about Bubba on the show tonight. Yeah. I'm just saying. I mean, I don't mean to cut you off so many times, Chuck, but you're just so lively tonight with your day glow orange hoodie life preserver that you're wearing. I mean, do you think on the third floor that we're going to have a flood or something? <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm prepared. I'm a He's boy scout. I'm cold, man. I'm fucking cold. Okay, man. check this out, dude. You're strapping on to the Kevin Holly Show, where Kevin himself is grayer than 50 shades. Did she say grayer than Fifty Shades or gayer than Fifty Shades, dude? I think both. I think both. <laughs> One more time. I think. You're strapping on to the Kevin Holly Show, where Kevin himself is grayer than Fifty Shades. I'm still going to go with both. I think <laughs> both. <laughs> I think oh, check, man. Check, check. I give her the microphone for like 10 minutes, and she comes up with more show content than Chuck's done in two years. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, because she sleeps with you, man. <sighs> All right, willingly, so, willingly. Chuck, you thought that that was really funny, right? You think it's willingly, really? Uh, <laughs> Chuck, you, I saw you had show notes. You brought notes tonight? Uh, yeah. Where are the notes at? Because that's the new segment that I wanted to get into. It's just for you, man. Uh, I, I, I have notes. I've misplaced my notes. Oh, my God. I think Pops is sitting on my notes. But no, no, that's okay. I know what my notes contain. Lori says, <laughs> Lori says gayer. So does Kathy. This, you guys, really? Anyway, all right. Chuck, you need your notes for this, man. Okay, I, I got my notes. Okay, here we go. Ready? This is a new segment on the Kevin Holly Show. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... Comedy that didn't make the show. <laughs> comedy that didn't make the show. Chuck, what do you got? <laughs> oh, tonight the comedy that didn't make the show was... Uh, oh my god, I think I got a phone call. Oh, let's guess. let's plug it into the board. Let's plug her in. Turn it on, hand me the phone, bro. Um, no, this guy Come would on. never want to fucking play ball. No. All no. right, so what kind of comedy did you not bring to the show tonight? Come on, man. No, so, I, I brought the comedy this Hey, time. you're going live on the air in just no, a second. No, 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 he's not. This Answer guy, it. This guy would not ever play. Oh, oh man. no, no. Um, no, no. Actually, Kevin, you know, I, I've been homeless and lonesome for some time. So I, I actually started an internet uh, dating process. And uh, to me, it went very well. Okay. It, How'd it go? It, it went. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank, <laughs> I whacked thank it you. with my phone. <laughs> That's not how my date went. Joining uh, Nambla uh, does not count for internet dating, dating Chuck. <laughs> No, the, the other night, uh, I, I had a wonderful day with, with this wonderful woman, and um, uh, she was performing this delightful act of fellatio, and then, then I got to think about her online posting, and she said, you know, she's adventuresome, and she has a good sense of humor, so I reached down and tickled her, and uh, <laughs> I made her laugh it all the way home. 
Okay, that sucked. <laughs> that sucked. No, I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. What else you got, Chuck? What else? No, you that's got? about it. Right. Come on, guys. Come on, dude. Well, let me just tell you guys one. Ladies and gentlemen, I defend it for a comedy that didn't make the show. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Once I start, I can't stop. Go, go ahead, Jay, please. Sorry, I defended, I defended Kevin the other day because somebody told me that freaking uh, Kevin ate shit sandwiches. <laughs> And I was like, listen, I can tell you for sure that that is not true, because Kevin is gluten-free, all right? <laughs> okay, another sleeper. Damn, man, you guys okay. are striking out. No, they, they, exactly what are you what talking what? about? No, you you just eat comedy shit. that did not make the show. Well, I'm sorry, Chuck, what was it? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... Comedy that didn't make the show. Sorry, I'm, I'm beating a dead horse here. Uh, okay, no, no. Okay, comedy that didn't make How the could show. anything I say be worse than that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kevin, you know what is black and blue and bloody and hates sex? No, what, Chuck? The teenager in my trunk. Oh, there you go. You got a jump drum. All right. Okay. <laughs> comedy that didn't make the show. Anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, I would go to Cam because he's the professional here, but I would never no, expect you to follow that up, man. No, you know? he's already shaking us off with like a pitch going in. He's already doing the shake off. Oh, uh, Lori's in the chat room saying that my daughter did bring a bowl of poop to breakfast time once, and she really did. We were laying in bed, and this is like four or five years, four years ago, three years ago, and we're in bed, and my uh, she was probably about six at the time. She um, pooped in a little bowl like a little pink princess bowl okay. and grabbed a spoon out of the kitchen and then oh, brought us breakfast yeah. in bed and i was like oh sweetheart oh what did you get you know and and she brought it up on it while we were laying there and yeah she had used the spoon to cut the turd in half it was like a cute little little kid turd you know what the <laughs> fuck like, kind what of is this, is this? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Is this for real? That's for real. Really probably happened. Oh, the, probably the comedy that did not make I love that. Show. Probably the best floor play Collie's had since you met Kevin. Who? I mean, who? uh who? Lori's had since you met Kevin. <laughs> Who's Kelly? Who the fuck is Kelly? <laughs> Your boyfriend <laughs> that Holly. Your boyfriend also that Lori as, doesn't know about. Exactly. Also known as Tracy, Pat, and what are the androgynous names that are out there? Wow. I'm sort of jealous now. <laughs> Why are you jealous, sweetie? Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's bad shit crazy. It's getting weird in here so now. So, Kevin, dude. did you eat it? <laughs> yes. It would have been rude. Ruined. Yeah, it would have been it's rude if you didn't eat it. Like she took the time out to put it in a bowl. She got the fork. If you didn't eat it, it you're was, rude. It was it's a like spoon. But cutlery daughter, cutlery. You got a drink. Right? Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. If Bill Cosby hadn't gone through what he had gone through, you would have had room for Jello. <laughs> just, just weird, Chuck. I, I'm just purposely saying stuff like that just to kind of call you out, Chuck. Every time Chuck talks, I'm just like, okay, it's just weird. Me out I, don't every time. I don't know what your deal was, man. No, you remind me of my other friend in Palm Harbor. You have another friend? Uh, not for long. <laughs> <laughs> Is he calling in right now? Is that who's calling? Oh, no, no. I was going to call another buddy of mine. That we, we did some weird shit during a hurricane a while back. <laughs> what? <laughs> You had a hurricane party with another dude? Just you two? What the hell is that? No, it was actually me and a couple of friends, and we. Uh, I think uh, I saw that video. <laughs> no, what, yeah, what, what we chose to do was two travel dudes across all couple. three causeways yeah. <laughs> during the hurricane. But that's all right. Um, I actually have something else what here. Were you guys on, man? Yeah. Ah, uh, mushrooms. <laughs> Figured something was a tribute to that. Oh yeah. Cam, have you ever gotten like uh, shit face before you did a stand-up show? Uh, no, nah, I've been drunk. But I've never been shit faced. I was like drunk enough to where I would slur a little bit, but I was still <laughs> maintainable. What was your drink of choice? Uh oh, it was New Year's two years ago and I was uh taking anything anybody would give me, man. Oh, wow. I was on like corona and uh On Corona. No no no, oh, but like oh god. god, yeah, that sounded <laughs> so Have you ever been so, so drunk me. you shit your pants? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Have you ever been on Budweiser? Let him <laughs> <laughs> oh. Have you ever had well planted off a well first story building That's beautiful. into a freaking yes. rock pile? He deserves hand claps for that one. That was great. <laughs> yeah. Have you been no, on the Budweiser? Plenty of, uh, versions of the clap. That's some, somebody should have warned you, Cameron. These assholes can't really get with it unless they can annihilate somebody. Yeah, I mean, that's really great. Shit out of them. That's when they really take action. <laughs> that's, what they, that's what they're good at. You hush your mouth, Pops. And, I'm and, and the, you, king, the king, the king. 
she's sitting down right over there. She's <laughs> oh, she, better than she, anybody. She is sitting down. I love it, Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, let's get back to the drunk comedian. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Got a fucking room, room full of them here. <laughs> no. So, your, let's get back to the drunk guy on stage, which you're paying to watch. So, so yeah, Cam, more. what happened? I mean, you had a, a few too many drinks. He slurred a little bit. Did it? Was it a good show? I mean, New Year's. It was a great show. Yeah. It was so much imagine. fun. Yeah. Uh, as long as you can maintain, everything seems to go well. But if you if you get sloppy to the point where you're not even funny, then it kind of ruins the show. Have that's, you seen yeah, that? That's, that's why. Oh yeah, yeah I've seen I've seen that a lot. That's the same way I wait tables. <laughs> yeah. you, know, you actually you see guys go up to they got good stick, they got good game, and they blow it. Yeah, but because of their nerves or because of the substances. Yeah, I saw it uh, last week. I was down in Fort Myers at the Laugh-In, and there's a dude who was just too drunk to to maintain, and he went up and he was just hammered, and it. It just makes you look stupid. Didn't work, huh? Yeah. Now, did you go before him or after him? I went before. Oh. Yeah, I went up before him. Oh, wouldn't it have been cool to go after that, though, you know? I guess and no, because, like, yeah. uh, part of you's did like... Did anybody rip on him that went after him? No, it was it was a showcase show. Like, it was for the World Series of Comedy. So oh, everybody shit. was, like, trying to be at their best, and right. he just wasn't. He tanked it, yeah. literally. Yeah. So it's kind of like... Almost embarrassing to follow up on somebody like that. You, you kind of feel like you might want to say something, but you shouldn't. Yeah, because you're, you're in a competition, so you can't really be like that guy. Yeah. But like, that's not. It's it's be. still it's the elephant in the room because everybody's looking at each other like, did y'all just see that? That was, <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Dude, I was at a, a bar called Dirty Nelly's on um, I think it was St. Patrick's Day, uh, probably about fifteen twenty years ago. And uh, also, actually, Calvin and Kevin is called Dirty Knees. Dirty Knees, <laughs> Dirty Nellies, up in Palatine, Illinois, outside of Chicago, right? And this this dude was up there um, with a, an acoustic guitar, doing um, limericks. Like he was like, ay, 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 your mother gives hummers to plumbers, and, and he was wasted, and he was singing, and everybody was into it. It was a huge place, man. There's hundreds of people, and uh, the girl that I went with knew the owners of this place. She was like a regular. And uh, I was really young. Cam, I was younger than you. I think I was 21 or 20. I might have had a fake ID that night. I was going to say, what were you doing? Celebrating your 21st birthday? Something like that. Yeah, it was a long time ago. And and, uh, there was a bathroom upstairs. Now, I don't get stage fright, but I am a stall kind of guy. I like to use the stall more than a urinal for two reasons. I don't like the splashback effect. And also, you know, when you're in a crowded Jesus place... Christ, when you're sitting at the stall, Kevin, you she, she really belly prefers button. to sit down. <laughs> you're you're a, come you come up to everybody's belly button. You're a stall guy because you yeah. sit, man. You can't okay. reach the freaking urinals. You ever go hey, trunk surfing? you got to get yeah. a step. you got to get a step a to step get in the urinal. It only patted him on the ass a little harder. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the stall next to Kevin tonight. This is true. And his foot came up underneath the stall I like liked several that. times. I not he didn't know that I was in there, I don't think. Tap. He just knew somebody was in there. I have did a did wide did stance. Do the tap, tap? Uh, yeah. I have a wide yeah. stance, Chuck. Yeah. So anyway, uh forbidden? instead of using the the bar bathroom with the line and I, it may have had a trough, like Wrigley Field has a trough. Oh, yeah. That sucks, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, especially when it's filled all the way to the top and it's like the ninth inning or something. Anyway, so I got the privilege like of going restaurant. upstairs above the bar to the to the green room, right? And I got to use that bathroom. And when I went up there, it was really dark and it was like this narrow stairwell. And there's like one door up there. It was like a, like a little attic, like a loft. And I got up there and I'm like looking around for the bathroom and there's a couch and it was really dark. And I look at the couch and that dude that was singing those limericks was passed out fucking totally drunk. Guitar still in his lap, head hanging down the side of the couch. His feet were all up and everything. And I walked past Did you him. Pee on him. No, I looked at him and I was like, "Y'all right, dude?" And he looked at me and he was like, "Hey, man." And I was like, "Do you know where the bathroom is?" And he's like, "Yeah, it's right, right there, man." You know. And I, was, I walked in there and I and I did my my thing, you know. And I, and I walked back out and I passed him again and he was like snoring totally. But my point is that the guy was pissed drunk as it was on the stage doing his limericks and the crowd loved it. Um, on a, on a night like that, singing Irish limericks. Uh, while drinking Jameson to a crowd of people that are completely hammered as well, it flies. But I would imagine the the you know comedy showcase, totally different story. I mean, you have to have your wits about you to yeah. be able to handle the crowd, to be able. To, I'm no expert, but I would imagine I've seen a lot. I of mean, comedy there's some shows, dudes man. who it it helps them. There's some guys who like they have to get drunk Stage, to get right? in that zone. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, Mitch Hedberg used to have stage fright out of his mind, so he would have to get he would have to get really high to perform. Well, how about but what's his name used to come up with, with, with all, he, he, would have, he would have the um uh, he, he got killed in the, in the bus accident once he got clean. clean. Uh, Sam Kinison. He yeah. used to come out with like uh, little bullets up his nose and drinking bottles of booze and snort like yeah. two bullets and then just go on a rant. And then he finally got clean and then... Talk about high energy, that guy. You yeah. Know? yeah. Uh, there's a couple guys. I can't think of it, but there used to be three or four guys that made a living playing drunk. But a lot of... Some oh, of Dean Martin. Uh, and I don't think he was even drunk most of the time. That, that was part of his stick. You know, yeah. he's always that. We're on what, what's his name? Uh, Charlie what about, what about What about that guy? Um, uh, Charlie Wants or... Uh, no, no. Um, tater. They, they call no, him a Tater. No, no. Ron White. Jay Bird yeah. from the Kevin Holly Show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Your sit-down shows are awesome. <laughs> Your sit-down comedy is great. Man. No, okay, you're talking about the white guy. Dude. Yeah, you, Ron you, White's yeah. legitimately drunk. No, yeah. you think but he's like, legitimately drunk? Yeah, because yeah, yeah, I know what he drinks. Ron White? Yeah. yeah. What Ron is he White drinks on stage. It's it's like a special brand of brandy. Oh, yeah. Like, it's it's... you. You can only get it at certain places. It's a very expensive bottle. I don't know the name of it because it's some shit that you don't see everywhere. Now but I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you the proverbial uh, question. Do you have a favorite comic that you look up to? Dave Somebody Chappelle. That, Dave Chappelle. Yeah. How about that? I huh? think he's damn. I fucking said it. Again. Greatest. I love Dave Chappelle as really? well. Really? It's because of what, what, did he really write all of his stuff? Yeah, he yeah. started at 14 years old to start doing stand up while like being in a fucking puberty. Mil- middle school yeah and, pu- and, and fearless yeah. you would have to be fearless at 14 to hit the fucking stage he's man. insane he's an insane uh man how old is he now i think i think Chappelle's probably mid 40s yeah. i'd love to hear uh, some of his mid stuff mid to late 40s you know. he, he yeah. drops you imagine yeah, how great. fearless, fearless great. you must have been at 13 years old it's terrifying uh, watching a 16 year old dave Chappelle be better than comics are today in their prime Sixteen-year-old Dave Chappelle is doing jokes that guys wish that they could write right now, and he never he never put them on an hour. He never, never released no, 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 them. Never, never did anything with them. No, like he did them on Star now, Search. How do, you, how do you find them? YouTube. You can YouTube things, and you, you just do a lot of Google research. People have like home videos that they recorded back when he was in his twenties. It's called the internet, John. <laughs> <laughs> the interwide web. Our 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 fucking What's his eyes name again? Guy. Dave Chappelle. Aren't, aren't you glad you got an IT guy uh, uh, as part of IT sort of like the staff now, Kevin? It comes in handy for these technical issues like yeah. Google. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love how you handle the, the hot internet. mic, too. <laughs> what was it? What was the comic's name again? Dave Chappelle. You want me to pull up some Dave Chappelle real quick? Oh, my God. He, 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 pops the, he He's not Do nice. early Dave Chappelle, though. Try to find yeah, something. Uh, his, first, his first hour is the reason I did stand-up. Killing Him Softly is a perfect hour front to back. You want me to play uh, yeah. that? I can, I can do both hours okay, front okay, to back, word for word. When, when you amazing. start to write a piece, do you, do you have a concept of what you write your whole yeah. uh, stick about? Yeah, or yeah. or, you, or do, do, do your sticks lead to one, to another, to another? Or do you have like, let's like go over an, um, an umbrella of a concept? All of that. It's all of that. So like you'll start with a premise and you'll go like, why do people do this? And right. then you'll just expand on it and tag it up. That, that's but a weird you, premise. You, you, but you bring like, it back around? Well, I mean, it depends where it goes. Right. Some okay. jokes, some jokes, you don't have an ending for for twenty years, and right. then twenty years later, you're like, I now know what to do with that joke. Okay. It's a joke's never done. It's just, that's okay. what the crazy part. So, is. so it is very much an art form. Oh yeah, it's it's the purest of art forms. It's a uh, it's you and an audience and them letting you know if something is funny or not, but funny subjective. So it's you're doing art. At Again, you're putting yourself up there for the immediate approval or disapproval. Yeah. You're not a painter that, that works on something for a year or two and then it gets hung here and there. And if it sells or not, yeah. you, 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 you're doing this shit every week. And you're, you're writing it and you're laying it out there. Yeah. All right, here, check this out. A little Dave Chappelle real quick for everybody. That will make it good to come home, boy. I swear. I know, man. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. DC is different. Oh, I grew up in DC. I'm a god man. It took me years to be able to do this show, boy. DC has changed. It's different now. Just <laughs> looking around at everybody. <laughs> There's a lot of white people walking around, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> 
exactly. That's pretty good, though. Um, I, I really like Dave Chappelle, man. I love that that stoner movie he made. Uh, the hell was the name of that movie? Half Baked. Thank you, Half Baked. Wow. I have that in my DVD collection, and my kids go through that DVD collection to, to play like Disney movies. I had yeah. to pull a few of those out and hide them. <laughs> I've gotten to uh, meet Jim Brewer a couple times, awesome. which is in that movie. He yeah. could not be a nicer person, dude. Did you so see him sweet. do that ACDC stand-up bit? Mm-mm. Oh, dude, he he like impersonates uh, uh you know he does like a rock and roll bit, and part of it is ACDC, and it's unbelievable, dude. He's so talented, that guy. Um, I might be able to pull that up really quick here. If I spell it right, um, yeah, there you go. The ACDC hokey pokey. <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's see if it, let's see if this works here. And then I want to play a, a, a clip of um, of Cam Bertrand for everybody. <laughs> see an ACDC? Go see him. The guys are fifty years old. Yeah, Larry. Can you hear oh, like I've a little, it. just like a. T- 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 yeah. ACDC. First of all, the guys are like fifty. Who is it? And none of them are Jim born, uh, above like three feet high. Yeah, our audience is watching this intensely. Like, Angus Young, really we're out of hell. <laughs> <laughs> but the best is Brian Johnson. He comes out. <laughs> they can uh, take any song. They all sound the same. It's always the same concert. But it rocks. They can take the hokey pokey and tear it up. <laughs> they got to come out like, <laughs> put your left foot in. <laughs> nice. you put your left foot out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they they goes on for like uh, what is it about five minutes, four minutes, That's whatever. Great. They uh, they actually started doing a new show. It's called uh, the Comedy Something. Oh man! Basically, what they're doing is comedians all want to be like rock stars, and rock stars all want to do comedy. Like, that's just, like, a, a known stereotype. And so a comic will choose a song from his favorite artist, and they will let that artist play that song with the comic at the end of their set. That's cool. Dude, it's insane, because I would love to do that. I would love for Jay or Chuck to uh, become rock stars so that they could be funny on this show. Yeah, the improv. Kevin <laughs> like, like, was a great improv. parody song tonight, Kevin, but you just don't want to <laughs> do it. got a fake song there somewhere. Yeah, there's the Orlando song. <laughs> yeah. A free All right. internet one. You know? Check out Cam Bertrand at the uh, the improv here. Because I don't have that. Hold on, let me start it over here again. I'm to take a bullet for the loved one. Because I don't have that in me. Take a bullet for the loved one. Like if it says hero anywhere in my obituary, just know that was unintentional. That's, that was a ricochet bullet. It found me. That was. I put you in front of me. I don't know how I shot around you. That guy's amazing. Idiot, we are listening to hear that. We What's had up? an argument while watching the basketball game because in the third quarter, LeBron James missed the dunk. He looked well, over at me and goes, not. LeBron James sucks. Hopefully we're in dead air right now. I don't know if y'all know this or not. LeBron James got drafted out of high school at 17 years old. Number one overall pick in the NBA draft. Signed a $95 million contract with Nike. Three-time NBA champion, four-time league MVP. Youngest player to score 25,000 points ever. My friend Daryl has failed his driver's test four times. Four. Daryl sucks. <laughs> I think that's great, dude. I've added more to that joke, actually. Which is like, it's really fun to see... Uh, like how that joke started and then to see where it's at now uh like uh one of the parts i had was like do you know how good lebron james had to be at basketball he had to be so good that he overcame having the name lebron <laughs> that's such a terrible name it's easy to be good when your name's michael you know what i mean hey, try being a lebron lebron sounds like a guy who works at being a mechanic, but they only let him do oil changes. Like they don't let him <laughs> do real short things. Buzz. Yeah, LeBron, LeBron sounds. It's such a stupid name, but well, he's it's so a name good. That you gave him, and he cannot properly pronounce. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why is there a capital LeBron. letter in the middle of your name? I don't understand. His yeah, name dude. really was Larry, and he couldn't pronounce it. It became LeBron. <laughs> dude, isn't it? Uh, Leb- uh, Lebron, like you got to pronounce the first part of it. I, the Le- reason I say that, uh, I when I was in in Schaumburg one night uh, at an apartment, um, these two dudes uh, uh, showed up to hang out and watch a basketball game with uh, me and a couple of friends in our apartment, 
and we're all sitting around and, and these guys are like straight gangster dude they were they're were real tough guys you know they actually stole a cadillac from the car dealership where they detailed cars at just to ride out and come to our apartment and hang out with us you know and uh Somebody on the TV was like, one of the commentators was like, uh, not really, no, he borrowed it, you know, it's a company vehicle, yeah, Yeah. anyway, the commentator, the guy took a car that he was detailing, he He has the keys to it, the Kevin calls these guys gangsters, anyway, Chuck, (laughs) gangster for Kevin, he said the commentator said uh, like <laughs> Leroy something did just just did something or whatever a three point shot whatever it was and the dude jumped off the couch and stood up and he was like man it's not Leroy it's Leroy and he got it wrong he got all pissed off and I was like thinking about it like man I've, I've been saying Leroy wrong for my entire life <laughs> it's Leroy you know but think about it yeah you know coming over no, my overcoming name, name is Leroy I would have thought it really? you know yeah. because. Wait, homeless? I was Chuck Charles Leroy? Leroy Carter. He sounds as black as fucking Virginia can make. Man. And you're as orange as uh, Donald Trump's skin with that big <laughs> little orange. I'm as tasty and transparent as my views. <laughs> is it really Leroy? <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. It's Leroy! The fuck's wrong with you? can't even say your own name! Sorry. I'm nice. fucking Virginia, bitch, and it's Leroy. Okay, it's <laughs> Leroy. Sorry, sir. <laughs> I love your platinum hair, by the way. I, just, yeah. <laughs> I bought it. <laughs> And the thing, they're called extensions. Think I, was, I thought I was so gangster in my days, man. Cause, you uh, with your mullet and your Camaro? <laughs> I had my mullet, my Camaro. I was selling joints for two bucks a piece Just and my started. prom, which really wasn't a prom. It was just like a keg party, but we <laughs> called it the prom. And, uh, and somebody you, you started. Were, you were thirty six. Started tossing acid out. For four bucks a hit, chill pills. We're all dosed, and uh, before you, you know, that prom was like three and I years thought ago. That I think that I thought I was gangster, man. I didn't know what's going on. I in don't the know world what gangster today. is. No, I thought I was gangster when I used to roll around in my old Mustang uh, fastback. I have a case of low and brown, which I don't think they even fucking make anymore. I, I had a couple of pipes stashed above the visor. Uh, I, I had some little frumpy chick that. They couldn't count to two. <laughs> That's because she was four. <laughs> <laughs> On your she was to- smart for her age. Okay? <laughs> oh <my God>. She <laughs> was. <laughs> hey, pops, why don't you show them gangster? Take your headphones off. No, 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 and no. And show, yeah. No, no, no. Show pops. Show, show them your ear. Right, show them your ear. What ear? Your ear. <laughs> what the fuck? With that you only have two. You only have two. Kong rat. Look at look at Pop's ear right over here. It's got a pen mark right there, right? Okay. You see it? Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. Cam, can you yeah. see it? Yeah. He flipped a 1943 Chevrolet 17 times. Oh, no, no, no. Three times end over end. Three times end over end. That's a lot of difference between That's pretty I was, freaking I was driving man. through in a field, and there was about a two-foot drop into a kind of a... It was wet. A it was like a swamp. The front end bogged down, and it just room, room, room. So seventeen. I three, and the guy that was difference? with me bounced yeah. out. I yeah. think he was I driving, would but the fuck he out and I didn't. I wouldn't know. I don't yeah. remember which side I got in, but probably it was my car. Yeah. Nice. So he they almost lost his ear. So pops, pops was gangster before gangster was being cool, I man. Wasn't a gangster. You were a thug, was dude. A drunk driver. Oh, but gee. You were a freaking no. yeah. I, I, got many, sta- I got stabbed on a uh, Christmas morning. How many working girls did you have in the back of that car? Huh? How, how many, many in wo- the trunk? <laughs> how many working girls did you have in the back of that car? Uh, working, were they conscious? Uh, I don't know. If, I, if there was one, she's still there. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a Kennedy. Are you sure not, you're not from Massachusetts? <laughs> I, was, I was bad before, well, before Eddie, you mean? You, you guys are related to the Kennedys, I'm talking aren't you? about you were like the serious first-time old-school OG badass, man. You were cutting your ears off and shit before cutting your ears off was cool. Because before, uh, what was his name? The artist, but Vakasimus? Vakasimus, that's a fish. <laughs> you guys are a mess over there, man. Look at this. There you go. There you it's, go. It's, it sucks. Uh, growing up in the, in the generation I've grown up in, I don't have any cool stories like that. No. Like I don't oh, have not any. Yet. Not yet. Oh, you I, will. I've got some stories, but like not not flipping a car. That's awesome. After tonight, you will. Well, let's yeah. yeah. Let's get totally hey, drunk you, you, you and drive down. Stabbed or you have you had a venereal disease yet? 
I got shot, but it like grazed me. Like it's <laughs> like it's it's really soft. Okay. The, the, BB the, the, guns don't count, no, 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 man. Right, exactly. Was Hold it on, a real gun? You're gonna shoot. Yeah, can we right talk now. about this? Hold <laughs> on. It's it's right here, but like, yeah, you uh, can't even see it. Uh, okay, what's that, Pat? No, he's not gonna take his shirt cool. off. That's cool. Was it a drive by or was it like? Uh, I was like ten. Were you targeted? I, no, I, <laughs> I was a, a, a standard. What do they call it? Uh, Standby. A standby, yeah. A bystander. Oh, yeah, okay. Bystander. This is something bystander. about my culture. Have you had any sexual diseases yet? <laughs> we're on, we're on <laughs> radio. Uh, <laughs> listen, man. <huh? laughs> wow. Chuck, Chuck's only hey, it's asking. It's a nice room y'all got here, man. I'm only asking because I find you. <laughs> hey, you, you Chuck's uh, only uh, asking uh, because he wants to give you an examination. Ask, ask <laughs> Chuck if he shaves himself. <laughs> Hold yeah, on. Which I, I, got, I got what you need. What do you need? Let me think a better look at that mole. <laughs> I'm uh, thoroughly disgusted with you guys. Do you have right any now. more of those I should inspect? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk more about this uh, this Did shooting. You're, like you're, <laughs> you're an innocent innocent bystander yeah. at 10 years old, but it, like, which it, is only 12 years ago, 13 I, years ago. Yeah, and yeah. you got shot in your shoulder, grazed. Yeah, well, like it's it's the back of my arm. But How like, now the hell each other so you hit your shoulder? You're so thin. Yeah. Where did this happen? <laughs> you, you're did you're from you? Florida. Where did this happen? In, oh, I lived in like terrible Florida. Where where I mean, past Del- Del- Lake? <laughs> no, 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 Martin Luther King in seventh. Oh, okay. Over oh, in yeah. Tampa? Yeah, Tampa, Tampa. Oh, my God. I, I used to live over uh, Howard and Armenia. Oh, yeah. That's pretty oh, right, right, right behind Tampa. Right behind Tampa Stadium back in the 80s. Yeah. Oh, my it's God. Like right that's because he worked at the sex shop right over no, there. No, no, that's what I got He was a jizz mopper. <laughs> it went in here and it came out up here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. It went in here and it came out here and my whole fucking chest fell down. It's pretty gross. Yeah. I've seen his scar, but Chuck, I wouldn't call it work, Chuck. Anyway, Chuck, Pat, moved yeah. in, Chuck moved into Howard Armenia and the neighbors go, oh, no, there goes the neighbor. We were doing fine before he got here. the property values. All the no crack shit. dealers, all the crack dealers are mad that you brought down the value. Oh, 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 <laughs> did they ever? Did you ever get the guy that did it? No, 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 no. This was like a. They were just shoot Could for no sh- reason. You probably didn't even see who it are was. Are you sure they weren't Mexican? I mean, I don't know Chuck. who did it. Yeah, oh, they just, did that a lot. They were just in a car. Oh, no, it wasn't. Cities, man, that's a big thing. <laughs> what, now. It that? sucks yeah. for anyone who hits a skinny white kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bet you can't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got his arm. No, you didn't. It grazed him. It counts. I experienced the drive. I experienced. That's funny as hell. Go ahead, pops. It's harder to hit his arm than anything. <laughs> Shit, I could hit that cracker. He's glowing. Look at that. He's so white. He's glowing. <laughs> it's like a target practice. Uh, Cam, I, I apologize for the, uh, no, the humor of the room here. <laughs> You know, you know what? Chuck is allowed to laugh though because he's been shot as well. <laughs> yeah, but like I never, I never thought anybody would think that it was cool. Like it's, yeah. it's, it looks stupid. Just get a tattoo over it, you know. It probably looks like an immunization shot. We hey, Chuck, that step. man is shoulder when you're true. <laughs> I, I'm true. Okay, now pops, you, you got the scar on your shoulder when they gave you the immunization I'll shot. I'll take right? bets on it, guys. But anyhow, <laughs> I I went. I was drive by hit too, not with a gun. I was going out to get the mailbox one day when oh. I could walk. Oh. You want to tell a fucking story? Go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm talking to your son. I'm talking to your son. Didn't the, the cocksucker say he was true? I, I just had it through. Well, then shut up. Jesus. <laughs> I was walking outside to get the mailbox when I could walk that far. And I, I hadn't got to the mailbox yet. But a car goes by and whap, I felt something and I got here and I looked down there was a big one of them big uh, 7-Eleven what, what did they call it a big 44 ounce big gulp big gulp yeah and it was half full of ice and the cocksucker hit me with it and I, I my, my belly was sore for six weeks after that but anyhow I didn't see who it was either you know you got drive by hit with a big gulp yeah, that's the craziest man. shit I've ever heard well, yeah. it was it was there was just ice in it, you know. The bastard had drank it all, <laughs> but he he he's, uh, he's grabbed it real quick, it. tried to sip up. <laughs> yeah, 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 at least leave me something to fucking. Shut I gotta get back inside. Hey, drinking. Oh my god, hey, uh, nothing but I, ice. I need to make well, a quick. Guy, did they get hit, hit him with, with like a Dr Pepper? Then he would have thought he was bleeding <laughs> or something. I need to make a quick observation. Pops has a digital thing on his finger mm-hmm. that reads like his stress level. Oxygen. And every time Chuck talks, <laughs> the thing goes fucking up and down, up and down. <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad, I'm glad that you I have uh, Pops' fingers. 
I'm glad you have Pops' fingers inserted into your daily behavior. It's like Chuck talks wow. and the number goes up. I, uh... I, I wish he'd talk more then. If it goes up, that's good. <laughs> I think it's when he talks, it goes down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pops, you <laughs> Pat, Pat's, Pat's got your finger in his hand. You tell me. Do you want me to tase him, Pops? Oh no. no okay, I won't. I won't. I'm looking for my weapon. Chuck, <laughs> Chuck, can I play that song? Not a no, no, uh, not, not the one my mom's fucking the pool boy or whatever. No, no, no. no. Never play that. <laughs> um. All right, so let's talk about St. Patty's Day that's coming up, man. Oh yeah. Oh, what's the plan? What are we doing? Well, I think that uh, we should have a St. Patrick's Day party. I think you should be our little I leprechaun. I think we also should have a question. I should be the little leprechaun? Yeah, because you're messed more up. like our little Irish guy that's little and leprechaun-like. Green, green with envy. Um, I'm half Italian and half Irish, man. So, I mean, I can yeah, be half a leprechaun. Yeah, but that qualifies as... Uh, so, oh, if, okay, you wanna, if you want to bring pizza around for St. Patrick's Day, that's fine. <laughs> Okay, you know that, that brings up our question. Dream people. What does St. Patrick's Day means to, mean to you? Because a lot of us have different perceptions of what the folklore of St. Patrick's Day is. I, I, I have my own urban legend. What, what, what is your urban legend? Why do you think there is a St. Patrick's Day? Because I have to run for my life out of fear that little kids are going to chase me to the end of a rainbow <laughs> and mug my ass for whatever change I have in my pocket. <laughs> That's what it means to me. It means run. The only thing they're going to do is get a gold Timex when they tag you. Hey, that's exactly what I'm wearing, dude. No joke, man. It's a gold Timex, for real. That's my grandfather's watch, man. All right, now listen. The real meaning of St. Patrick's Day is that um, the Irish weren't very good cooks. So they decided that they were going to have to, like, corn beef, which, what, I mean, how to, you know, what the hell is corning beef? And then they're gonna they're gonna mix it with some cabbage, mm-hmm. and they're gonna give some green beer and Irish so, potatoes, Jay, and Irish potatoes, so that uh-uh. you know, just so that they could have a day, they could serve some really lousy food Wait. and and they're horrible the horrible flavored beer. After the potato famine, why, don't you think they would steer away from potatoes on that holiday? I mean, just saying, I'm just asking. Oh, yeah, gosh. but. This was after the potato. It didn't start until like 1992. Oh, oh St. Okay. Patty's Day. Sure, sure. Uh, so, I don't know. Um, yeah. so they just decided got that, one that wrong. there was a bunch of beef that needed to be corned, and there was a lot of extra cabbage. Yeah. Yeah. And, extra and then they threw dye. some potatoes in there, and then they thought it'd be cool to be green and have some green beer. That's the whole meaning of St. Cam- Patrick's Day. What do you, uh-huh. What's the meaning of St. Patrick's Day no. to you, Cam? Drink. Drink. Drink the Coronas. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. My, my turn. Uh, my understanding is uh, St. <laughs> Patrick drove all the snakes out of Ireland. Shut up! <laughs> no, no. Is that for real? Okay, don't no, move on. The well, no, because there was a, a cobra that was uh, he might, yeah, that got out actually, in Ocala yeah. yesterday. No, no, move on. Too. You've been calling me an idiot all night long. I've heard that on. story, though. It's move on. Go, go, go to Patrick Crazy. Well, Patrick oh, you mean crazy. like asking the Irish guy named Patrick? <laughs> no, he, he's Michael Fitzpatrick. Oh, and Patrick Fitz Michael. Uh, okay. It's all about this guy who was running around trying to um, get this other guy's lucky charms, <laughs> and you know, the the cereal really tells documents the whole story. It's true on the on the cereal box. Yes, the lucky charm cereal box. Oh, oh, oh the map generation. The the map, watch on the, back. Right. the map right. on the back does take you. All right, for the, the smartest one in the room, Pops, what does St. Patrick's Day mean to you? <laughs> what did, what did, what did uh, Cam said? What did Cam say? He says, oh, uh, I think it's just for the drinkings, the drinkings of the Coronas. Just, uh, Corona is a Mexican beer. Yeah, uh, but. A, a, a reason not to be drinking, you mean? <laughs> yeah. You can make Corona green. Kevin, what did you say? Uh, uh, run. I have to run from the children that are trying to chase me to the end of the rainbow to get my uh, pot of gold. Yeah, my gold Timex. Yeah. What about you, Pops? What does St. Patrick's Day mean to you? Well, I I uh, I always heard that it uh, was had something to do with the uh, Catholics in in <coughs> Scotland and the Shamrock and the <coughs> Protestants, mostly Presbyterians, uh, who wore orange. Uh, 
uh, a little bit to them to justify the drunken Catholics on that one day, the <laughs> ones that the ones that didn't go to the pub every day had a chance to go out and get soused so they didn't feel <coughs> bad about not being able to go in the, uh, during the week. <laughs> it's almost like Mardi Gras. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of that. Uh, same pretense, now that, that's same pretense of Mardi Gras. Uh, I, I didn't have a, a, a Catholic or uh, Irish grandfather to leave me a watch, but my because my mother was my, my grandmother was Catholic. Well, pops, my grandfather that left me the watch was uh, straight Italian. What? He was Italian, not oh, Irish. Okay. Well, anyhow, his name yeah, was South of the Wops. My, my grandmother <laughs> was, was Italian, and she was a hundred percent Italian. His Mick grandfather left him some Guinness beers. <laughs> and he's always in charge to say the guy was straight. Who? Oh. Jay, did you just call my grandpa a WAP? <laughs> no, a Mick. Oh, the other one a WAP, yeah, but wow. the other one a Mick. All right. And I'm not allowed to drop keep, the keep Keep it classy. Hey, you, know, you, know, you, know what, you know what? You know what? You know what? If you're, you're Italian. You know what you say to a guy that calls you a WAP? What? Anytime <laughs> we're live. Yeah. Nothing? Oh, you don't say <laughs> shit? <laughs> You just cower down. No, like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. No, why, 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 why don't you call him a Dago? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's daylight savings time, Pop. You okay. misphrased it. <laughs> wow, you guys are killing me tonight. Killing me. Anyway, so, uh. <laughs> this dude. You know. You know that Chuck's having a good time when he's got a can of Ice House 16 ounce and it's still got the four. It's still got the, it's the little still plastic got the ring on it. Yeah, from all the other cans that were attached I don't to it. Lose it. <laughs> so, Jaybird, I couldn't help but notice that you had some show notes as well. I mean, I can get into a few things here if you want. Um, I think we should, real quick here. First things first. Before a break? Before the break, real quick here, yeah. Oh, no, I, I think we need to entice it. Hey, do you remember old Justin Chambers? Oh, uh, yeah. Somebody asked me if it was Ole or Ol, like old. <laughs> and I started thinking it's like old. Ole Justin old. Chambers. It's old. I know it's it is, old. but what if he had a sombrero instead of a cowboy hat? Then he would be Ole, Ole? J- Ole Justin Chambers. That'd have to have an A thing. on it, though. Check out the voicemail he left me yesterday. You ready? All there right. you go. Man, when you're doing uh, the Kevin A. Holly show again, hey, ain't a, don't that come on on uh, Wednesday nights, right? Um, I need to call in. I ain't called in to your show in a while. I need to call in again. Y'all still got the same number. I lost the damn number. I need to call in again. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> That's the, the first time he called in, we thought he was Camden. Then we thought it was your son. No, no. no, no. somebody else. Now, this kid, when he called in, he had to run to a payphone. And uh, he's now a local celebrity. Do you know he's going to be participating in a rap battle? Really? In a couple of weeks, yeah, dude. That wow. dude, I can't wait for dude, that. Dude, I should be in a rap battle, man. No, you shouldn't. You'd be terrible. Freaking two chins. What are you talking two about? Two chins. Dude? <laughs> I, I eat two burgers man. before I, I eat two burgers, and then I eat two more. Alrighty I, that's then. That's what we got so far. Daddy always told me burgers were really good, but you should you eat two no burgers more. before you get your head right, because then you eat two more. That's not even close to how it goes, Jay. But that's, that's okay. Totally how it goes. That's a, however that's you want song, it to go. Man. It's what your are you song. Talking about? I'm sorry, sir. I how can you tell me? I named him. Okay. I named him. I get sixty percent. Okay. 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 Just calm oh, down. Oh, Just oh, calm oh, down, oh, Orange. I named him. Chuck is the new Orange. <laughs> <laughs> What's the new Orange? All right. Yeah. So Chuck. check it out, man. Let's do a little strange news real quick here and get you guys' opinions on some of the things that are happening here uh, in the beautiful U.S. of A. and. Uh, this is Florida. My God, all the freaking shit happens down here, man. Seal no killers, hot Chuck. temperatures. All right, check it out. In uh, Chagrin Falls, Ohio. Right. I, just, I just love the name of that city. Chagrin Chagrins? Falls. Yeah, you know. Are you sure it's not Chagrin? It's Chagrin Falls, Ohio. Okay. Anyway, police say a 70-pound popcorn ball worth hundreds of dollars that was swiped from a suburban Cleveland shop where it was being auctioned has been returned. So somebody stole a 70-pound popcorn ball. How big is how 70 big pounds? How big the fucking seed? The popcorn bandit. Yeah, how, how big could that again. be? How big was the seed to start with? It's a bunch of popcorn, not just one. All oh. popcorn is the same size. It's corn. 
Oh, it wasn't just one big piece of popcorn. Uh, yeah, okay, no. so you, you, you know, well, I don't know. Let's look. Yeah. The you oversized. Said it, I thought it was a seventy-pound piece exactly. of popcorn. Well, let like, me let me tell. Like let me explain. The biggest piece of popcorn 70 ever. Pounds or seventy pounds, whether it's popcorn or feathers or rocks or whatever. True. Seventy pounds. All right. This oversized snack was dyed red, white, and blue, and it was taken from outside the Chagrin Falls popcorn shop of all places, over the weekend. But it was found intact in front of the shop on Wednesday. So somebody brought it right back to the shop. Can, can we address the fact that there is a popcorn shop? Do we need that? Do we need a popcorn shop? Uh, Where else are you going to get your popcorn, dude? No, 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 no. At the movie theater, <laughs> where normal people eat popcorn. What if you don't want to watch a movie, you just want popcorn? Walmart. Walmart's I, got I popcorn. I have a microwave, I actually, dude. can I interject? I just did an advertisement is for it? one of the magazines I work for, and there's a popcorn shop right off of Tarpon Avenue, and they offer flavors to everything from key lime to Greek, which I, I can only... S- it's, it's, it's got feta. Are you plugging no, his popcorn no, shop right no, now? No, no, I'm not <laughs> He's getting paid. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm thinking the, the Greek popcorn probably either tastes or smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway. Kevin. Kevin, he's getting paid for that. Dude, he's, 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 well, well, these guys are trying to figure out how they're going to lift seventy pounds of popcorn. How many balls of twine would it take to reach the moon? <laughs> <laughs> three. Figure that one out, guys. Yeah. How many, Kevin? Uh, I say three hundred and three. Oh, no, I, I say three million seven hundred twenty-nine. One really long one. How about you? Oh, I like that. Fucking brilliant answer. Yeah. Who came up with that? I like one. Was that the new guy? That, yeah, that was guys. the fucking new guy? Or this guy? No, he, he that guy. Oh, that that fucking guy. Pat. One, one if, if it was long guy. enough. Oh, right. God damn, Pat. All right, so. You remember when he first came in, you said, look at the brain on Pat. He, I did. I did. <laughs> Show <laughs> my brain showing. Yes. <laughs> But All he right. was giving him an anal exam at the time. So how did that work out, man? I mean, uh, hold on a second. This all makes sense now. It was created for a New Year's Eve popcorn ball drop. Chuck, have your balls dropped yet? Um, no, because I've never worn underwear in my life, and my boys always stay where they need to be. They're okay. athletic. Right in Jay's mouth. What? I'm giving you. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, so that explains that. It was valued at $700. Uh, Cam, oh would you pay $700? $700 popcorn If you could ball. drop a popcorn ball on New Year's Eve, would you pay 700 bones for that popcorn ball? No. What if you could eat it when you were done? Well, yeah. then, yeah. <laughs> I could eat 70 pounds worth of popcorn? Yeah, let's do that. So that's roughly uh, 10 bucks a pound. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. High class popcorn. Right I'd, I'd pay fifty bucks to throw a bunch of popcorn off the roof of the Trump Tower. Okay, 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 can I interject? No. Um, um, yeah, yes, I'm going to because does the new guy know we've already accepted fifty thousand dollars with the donations to throw a guy off a roof? <laughs> we have been, been doing this promotion ever since we started this show. Everybody, sell us, sell, send us a dollar donation. We will sucker somebody coming up here to the dump towers, and we will throw them off the roof. And that we, never we, happened. We, Pat, I hope you make it, man. I hope they make <laughs> it. I hope you make it when they throw you off. I hope. Well, if Chuck, if Chuck keeps talking, I'll just jump. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> let's, let's see if either of these guys, let's see if either of the guys, these guys have any, any, any balls. We actually made a I'm deal with several guys. We said, hey, we got a thousand dollars. If you'll jump off, we'll split it with you. <laughs> I, I'll do it. <laughs> thousand bucks, you split it? Yeah. All right. You guys all get a buck? I get 990 Five dollars. Hey, it's a dollar yeah, I didn't yeah. have before. You know what I mean? Oh, oh man! Okay, okay, okay. So what happens with your share when you then, hit the ground? Then I'm going to charge you all a dollar to watch me do it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to I'll pay a dollar to see that. Yeah. Cool. What's I, that I now? A thousand. I got a couple hundred bucks right now. If you now, jump if off this, the roof. this was the 18th century, we were going to throw Pat off and this guy off and see who hit the ground first. He's got a name. He's a goddamn local celebrity. You keep calling <laughs> this guy nude guy. Jesus Christ. Chuck, I do. I, w- I do want to know was, who would fall first. If he was Jesus Christ, I would. Address, <laughs> I would address him as such. You sure wouldn't recognize him. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right. Uh, also in the news, a Dallas woman goes out on a limb to prevent tree trimming. 
Uh, check this out here. Yeah. A 67-year-old Dallas woman climbed a pecan tree on her property to protest a utility company's plan to trim the branches. Oh, yeah. I, wish, I wish she would have fell from the tree. It, and then the tree would have collapsed on top of her. <laughs> just because. I'm just thinking about how. I want to save the tree, and then the tree kills her. Oh, God. Yes, yes. The pecan. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she's allergic to pecans and didn't know it. I hope she. <laughs> you know, it was ironic as all of her ex boyfriends call her the pecan voice as well. Yeah. <laughs> Well, she says the utility company is uh, encro- encroaching on her rights as a property owner. This is the second time in six years that she has climbed the tree to prevent any limbs from being removed. And uh, they're trying to resolve the matter for months. And um, she says it's uh, it's responsible for keeping the, – the company says they're responsible for keeping the power lines free from bra- uh, branches so that service to customers isn't disrupted. The company has issued a temporary restraining order against this woman. Her name is Jen Huber. But, but Jen is allowed to keep her bush in any manner in which she chooses to keep it. <laughs> Apparently not, because a crew later successfully trimmed the trees. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> I'm glad this article came to a good conclusion. Yeah, fruition. Did, did this woman ever remember when nobody had a cell phone and everybody had pubic hair? <laughs> now everybody has a cell phone and nobody has pubic hair. Chuck, that's because the people that you see who's ha- who, whose privates you see, are, uh, where, you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good premise, man. You Thanks. didn't execute it well. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not that good. Um, that's why our show is so successful. <laughs> All right, one more, one more here. Uh, in Florida. Uh, oh, God. Oh, I'm sorry. It's in the city of Florida, in the state of Massachusetts. Florida, Massachusetts. Uh, fact in Massachusetts, state police are investigating the fact and theft of a pair of 305-pound coin-operated binocular-like devices that gave tourists spectacular views along the state's famous Mohawk Trail. Please shoot me, somebody. Are you familiar with crumbs along the Mohawk? No, I don't even know what you just said. Crumbs along the Mohawk. 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 I'll continue the story. I'll fill it in. I can't that wait. That sounds like a decoded message right there. That's <laughs> like, right, yeah. It's very much Cracker true. Jack shit right there, right? No, crumbs along the moment. Okay. Cracker Jack crumbs along the moment. like the oh. sun sets in the west of noon. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you, <laughs> you don't have the key to this code. <laughs> Chuck stayed up for months as a child <laughs> piecing together letters from the fucking Cracker Jacks box to, no, to trying to figure show. out who the Zodiac is. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's like having these random thoughts. Hey, he's having hey, flashbacks, hey, hey. you know. I have a dog named Zodiac. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. He would have he been 52, but he was sick of years. He's only 51. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. All right. Uh, continue. So the, the scenic... Uh, I'm sorry. The if scenic fact... you see him go like this... His mother and father were cousins, but it really never affected him. <laughs> hey, do you know why Chuck's? Do you know why Chuck stutters? Because while his mom, when his mom was pregnant, she used a vibrator. Thank you, thank you. Uh, that, that was pretty weak. Hey, you all fucking brought shit for jokes, and we still laughed at them. So, uh, whatever. Okay. All right, that, that doesn't make my joke funny though. Yeah. I just got excited. Good, I'm sorry. So are we taking a break here? Or what? Uh, yeah, we should take a break. Um, but let me at least finish this really quick, strange yeah, news story. Why don't we take a break so we got like a little bit of time left? <laughs> All right, man. So we're gonna take a break like, and we're gonna come, we come back for back. like what, fifteen minutes? I hope it's only fifteen minutes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, somebody stole some coin-operated binoculars in Massachusetts. That's what happens. In, in Before we go to break, I gotta say, uh-oh. Kevin, you did a great job on the break. Mon- the break uh, montage. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it's a big one. Because I've been listening to it and I've been here, and it's like you put together some pretty nice stuff. Oh, thanks. Stuff. Yeah, Very I appreciate that, man. Yeah. It's the same stuff I used in episode 80. And I added just a couple of things to it, so I'm real. I'm real. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time on that I today. I just well, tune out. I tune out. Give, the, uh, give the guy clapped again. I tune out the actual show and just listen to the breaks now. A lot of people do that, and I commend them for that. <laughs> <laughs> It's like only watching uh, football for halftime. Oh, halftime's uh, so ben, good. Ben. Oh, so good. Exactly. This is right? basically right? a Super Bowl, but yeah. nobody cares. Exactly. Hey, could yeah. you imagine? I'm not watching until they all go in the locker room. Fuck. <laughs> 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 we we got every race, age race. Now that you join the cast, we got twenty to fucking ninety. 
my god, do you imagine what that fucking... Is? Could you imagine Chuck doing stand-up for a halftime show at the Super Bowl? He'd be like, look at the people in the stands over there, they're like 20 to fucking 90. Uh, I'm just saying. I could, I could. And then he just goes, go Eagles! And they just go nuts. No, he would say, it wouldn't be the Eagles, who would it be, Chuck? Uh, Redskins! Thank you. Yeah, well, Redskins fans will never make the Super Bowl, so you'll be alright. <laughs> He's a walking wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's funny tonight, man. That, that's nice, that's nice. Walking wardrobe malfunction. All right, let's take our last break. We'll be right back with more of the Kevin Holly oh, yeah, Show. I don't want to break a lot of shit during this break. Show the English me in the Kevin Holly Show. Show the English me in the Kevin Holly Show. Show the English me in the Barnabas Kevin Holly. He didn't get the popular vote, but you love him anyway. The Kevin Holly Show on the Internet Radio Network.
This is the original Guido, Skinny Vinny, wrestling manager at ACW, and you're listening to the Kevin Hawley Show. Why? Because your mother told you not to. <laughs> Turn the freaking volume up, you monkey. I'ma break it to you simply to show the world how you could be a master force of strategy like flying high, no gravity and all I got is time. All this music on my mind, stealing hearts when I scram. Come along for the ride, see. I tend not to take things too personal, but I come up with these rhymes. Open hearts so surgical with a little bit of chemical. These flows become impeccable. Sound that's so symmetrical, the beats we drop combustible. Because we are So if you got a heartbeat, it's time to stand up on your own two feet It's time to elevate to a different state Don't play it, hey, don't bring the hate Don't give me another reason to stamp the verdict on this world The base of place yourself on higher ground above anyone that can bring you down So high up in the sky, you watch an averted Tom Cruise do fly by We are the harvest, adrenaline from the open mind We're bringing the good vibes, we're jamming Bob Marley time So put your hands up with me if you want to end all poverty Make this world a better place so children never witness Hey, together we can rise up, got the harvest on the ultra low Crank it to 11, fuck it 12, let the whole world know Sit right back and let this rhythm find its way into your heart Know that what you're singing is the next level off the chart We are the harvest, we're bringing you the freshest beat Take it from the post and you can find me out here in the streets We are the harvest We are the Open up your eyes, a witness head is heavy I envy the ones who don't got the sickness Because life is a season and every month we believe in I know the days and the hours that keep us going and breathing And when I wake up, I lay in bed for hours Don't think much, stagger off my bed And then I wait for the head rush Leaning on a crutch, the knees to get sped up Or maybe I'll just end up falling with my face running It's hilarious, time is ticking clockwise and not right in sight When I'm wearing these heavy rope guys Blur up an image that you thought you left behind Or bury a treasure that you never could find And when I wake up, I'm standing on the planet As I take for granted all the things handed in man It's just so I challenge, there's a price on life If we decide to get high, we'll be balloons in the sky And float up till we die We are the Done listening to the hop. Hey, hope it's. Uh, ho- I think it's hoppy. Hopey. When hop. you're done listening to hop along hoppy show, hop along hoppy. Hoppy hour. Show. Hoppy hour. Happy yeah. hour. Ha- hoppy. What? Hoppy. When you finish spanking it to that hoppy guys show, you should get some Kleenex and then maybe drop your cocks and grab your socks for the Kevin Holly show on the IRN.
you'll never change or give it a try. Cause you're too cool to hear me the way it's going. No, I can't keep going. No, I can't wait my whole life. I just need some change and some time. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we were just going to leave too because the elevator's broken. It's stuck on the first floor, and we're having a hard time getting pops off the third floor. So I'm not sure if we're going to have to call the fire department to assist with pops, or if the five of us can muscle his wheelchair down the stairwell. Uh, but either way, everything will be fine. We'll take care of it. So uh, I'm going to end the show a little bit early tonight, and um, by doing that, it's still going to play. I'm just going to play a little best of for you guys while we assess the situation uh, which has come up kind of uh, unexpectedly and suddenly but uh, thank you for listening everybody to the Kevin Holly show thanks to Cam Bertrand Uh, you can follow him on Facebook and also check out the Kevin Holly show Facebook page and you can see the um, upcoming dates that Cam will be available uh, to watch his stand up he's going to be at side splitters coming up here and um, a few other events uh, the uh, venue in Palm Harbor uh, snappers as well, which will be totally cool. And uh, I'll go ahead and put all of his information up on Facebook so you guys can check him out live. Uh, Thanks to Cam Bertrand for sitting in on the show tonight. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and kill this. And I hope you all had a uh, wonderful evening. I hope you had as much fun as we did giving the show to you. So I'll end it with... uh, Let's see what we got here. Um, Yeah, I know. Glick in the chat room, what happened... The elevator got stuck on the first floor when Chuck went down there. He didn't, like, intentionally break it or anything like that. It just uh, didn't happen. So um, it is what it is, man. You know, elevator's stuck. Pops is on the third floor, and uh, we had to find a way to get him downstairs. So I'm going to go ahead and play um, the interview with the Slingshot Robot. It's one of my favorite interviews uh, that I've ever done on the show. One of my favorite bands. One of the best bands in Florida, um, in my opinion. Uh, we're talking about Doug Bailey and uh, Al Picasso and uh ed rogers and um <clears throat> taz gardner and uh harold rule and all these guys in slingshot robot are fantastic they played live in our studio acoustically uh, about a year ago and uh, alice sat in many times on our show which is really cool and as i wait for this to uh to load up here um yeah it is <laughs> this, this kind of sucks because now i'm standing here waiting for this to load up and I can't really leave until it does. And uh, we got people all over the dump tower. We got uh, Cam and Pops sitting in the hallway over there. And uh, we've got uh, Jaybird went downstairs to try to fix the elevator with his uh, pocket knife. And Chuck and Pat Shit Crazy are already downstairs. They ride everywhere together. Um, you know, it's like an Uber relationship. That's just how they roll, if you will. So, uh, oh, man, a little embarrassing. But uh, what are you going to do? The dump tower is not in uh, full capacity tonight. Just make a pulley system and lower pops down. Thanks, Glick, in the chat room. <laughs> Leave Chuck in the elevator. Another great suggestion. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. What are you going to do? Not much you can do. So, um, yeah, I thought Justin Chambers was going to call on the show tonight. But uh, he must be busy. You know, it's kind of hard to answer phones when you got half your crew stuck in the elevator. So, um, I'm thinking about, because I'm huge... Maybe I'll just pick Pops up over my shoulder like a fireman's carry and just kind of walk him down the stairs one step at a time, you know. That's how we do it, one step at a time. What are you going to do? There's really nothing you can do, you know. You know what we can do? We can play a little bit of Cam Bertrand, a little stand-up action for you. How about that? We'll do that right now. Did I say the the love for me? Because I don't have that in me at all. Like, if it says hero anywhere in my obituary, just know that was unintentional. That's all. That was a ricochet bullet. It found me. That was. I put you in front of me. I don't know how I shot around you. That guy's amazing. My friend's an idiot, though. We argue over everything. We got into an argument while watching a basketball game because in the third quarter, LeBron James missed the dunk. He looked over at me and he goes, LeBron James sucks. 
I don't know if y'all know this or not. LeBron James got drafted out of high school at 17 years old. Number one overall pick in the NBA draft. Signed a $95 million contract with Nike. Three-time NBA champion, four-time league MVP. Youngest player to score 25,000 points ever. My friend Daryl has failed his driver's test four times. Four. Daryl sucks. I talked her into having a movie marathon, that's some bullshit. Like, I was like, hey, it'll be cute, it'll be romantic. But I messed up by letting her pick all of the movies. Don't do that. It's a setup, you can't win. First movie she picks, The Notebook. Yeah, throughout the entire thing, she's like, Cam, would you do that for me? Would you do that for me? Would you be that guy for me? You know what he did in that movie? He wrote her a letter a day for an entire year without getting one letter back. She looked me in my face and goes, would you do that for me? I said, if I send you two text messages and don't get a reply, I would delete your number. I'll play that shit. Wasting my unlimited texts? I'm not be a part of this. Sprint doesn't condone this nonsense. I hate that movie. I hate that that's the guy that women want. Women do think they want that guy. That, what? that guy hung from a Ferris wheel and said, if you don't go on a date with me, I'm just gonna let go. <laughs> women think that guy's romantic, that guy's passionate, he loves you. But if I tell you I'm willing to drink your bath water, all of a sudden I'm the weird creepy one. <laughs> He's suicidal, I'm just thirsty. <laughs> Second movie she picks, Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, wow. yeah, this movie sucks. <laughs> Sets the bar too high. I can't do those things. I can't do what he did. She was like, Cam, you know it'd be so sexy if you would pick me up and throw me on the bed like in the movie. Yeah, that is sexy. You know it's not sexy. Trying to pick her up, not being able to, and pushing her on the bed. Is like, that sexy? You like that? Love you. Step on. She's not a big fan of football, she said she was. That's all I'm saying. I gave her the Heisman. You know? <laughs> movie makes you want unrealistic things. She, uh, she wanted to role play. She was like, Cam, I think it'd be so cool if we were to role play. And at first I was completely for it. I was like, hell yeah, I want to be Batman. <laughs> like every man in here wants to be, because Batman's awesome. She looked at me and she goes, no, you can't be Batman. I was like, why not? She goes, because I want to be Batman. <laughs> what? <laughs> you definitely can't be Batman. She was like, why not? I don't know, because I don't want to have sex with Batman. <laughs> she was like, fine, I'll be Robin. Fair enough. She didn't end up doing it. We didn't. I don't want y'all to think that we did that. We didn't do it. I mean, maybe we did. You don't know my life. She, uh, she thought we needed a safe word. She's like, I think we need a safe word. I think safe words are stupid. I think it's a dumb concept. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you want a safe word with Cam Bertrand, go see him at Side Splitters or at the, uh, or at, um, What's the other one you're going to be at? Coconuts, right? Uh, no, I'll be uh, at Snappers Thursday Snappers. and Saturday. And then Friday I'll be at Lakeland and Winter Circle. Awesome. Yeah. So check out uh, Cam Bertrand uh, you know, on social media. Check out the Kevin Holly Show Facebook page, and I'll uh, put a link um, of your upcoming shows that you had already posted up there. If you don't want people stalking your page, you know they can check it out through ours. I welcome all stalkers. Awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how, do they, how do they view you, if, if you don't mind them? Yeah, uh, Cam the Comic. If you just search that, I'm on everything. Nice. All right. Yeah. So Cam the comic, Cam Bertrand. Thanks, dude, for showing up tonight. Yeah, that man, was really thanks cool. Thanks for having me. This was a bunch of fun. Uh, I hope you had fun. I'm sorry it was a bit of a dumpster fire. No, and it was awesome. The elevator is supposedly working again. Either that or Pops is still in it. I would have probably gotten a text message. <laughs> you know, unless they assume Pops is up here. I don't know. We got to check it out. So 
Um, again, Cam, thanks for showing up and, and hanging out with us. It was our pleasure really having you. Yeah, man, I um, appreciate you having me, man. Thank you. Thanks, man. I'm going to just play a little bit of uh, Best Of it here. It's my pleasure to be here, too. Oh, uh, Pat, thanks. Yeah. For, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, here, let me turn your mic back on. There you go. Yeah, Pat, yeah, did you have fun tonight, Pat? Yeah, yeah, absolutely my pleasure. Thank you very much for <laughs> throwing me into the, the credits there. Yeah, yeah, I Pat feel, shit crazy. I feel just so loved. <laughs> If you like Patrick, uh, check out <laughs> pfc40book.com. Check out the the 40-year-old private book. We've been promoting that a lot. Um, it's going to be in mass production soon. And check out The Voice of the Veteran Thursday nights on Spreaker. Um, we're going to do that show tomorrow night if all goes well. Tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. I'll be just working the board, and Pat will be down, you know, hosting the show. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, so we're going to go check out on Pops. And um, I'm going to play out the rest of the uh, 28 minutes of the show here with an interview that we did with the band Slingshot Robot, where they played live in studio with us. It's a little raw. It's over a year old, but it's really badass this band is one of my favorite bands of all time and um, i already kind of described a little bit before the guys came back into the studio here so enjoy slingshot robot and uh, we'll check y'all out again next week wednesday at 8 p.m eastern standard time thanks again for listening everybody see you chuck needs a room you've got one for- It's never enough You give and you get It's always a bust And it's too hard to leave you Tonight You're crossing the line You're telling me how I should live my life And I'm just gonna leave here change or give it a try cause you're too cool to hear me the way it's going no I can't keep going no I can't wait my whole life I just need some change and some time she put a stake in my heart guys are awesome we've got the band slingshot robot everybody's been uh, very excited about that so we've got those guys here pops is in the kitchen still eating uh he'll get in here as soon as he can we're gonna have to move well, that the is still out there who 
Dinah. Dinah who? Dinah's in the kitchen. Dinah's in the kitchen? I don't think I'm old enough to get that <laughs> reference. Bro. Pops will. Pops will. Pops will, will right? He'll be like, what? <laughs> who? I cut Pops' hair off. He thinks he's in the <laughs> studio right now, dude. So. He thinks he's catching a buzz. <laughs> yeah, That's he's, awesome. He thinks he's in the podcast. Right All right. Now. Well, hey, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and throw out the phone oh numbers tonight. God. Hotline tonight, 727-237-6010. We will be taking live phone calls all night. Um, also, if you want to chat us up on mixlr.com, feel free. There's a chat feature. Of course, hit us up on Twitter throughout the show. We'll be checking our Twitter. That's at Kevin Holly Show 4, the number 4. And, of course, our Facebook is uh, basically uh, facebook.com forward slash the Kevin Holly Show. Also, check out Slingshot Robot throughout the show. They've got their own Facebook page as well. It's pretty simple. If you can't type in Slingshot Robot, then you're probably one of our best listeners. <laughs> so, that's pretty awesome. Or you're listening, yeah, you're listening every week. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Slingshot so, Robot. Let's get right into this, this band here, because I know these guys, they're, they're busy guys. Uh, I know uh, D- uh, Doug's got to work in the morning. We pulled him out of, you know... Out of nowhere here, we got Doug, we've got Ed, we've got Harold, and we've got Al. That is Slingshot Robot. Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for showing up tonight. Um, A lot of people probably don't know that Al and I actually uh, go back way, way back, at least, what, five years, something like that. Um, My kids uh, attended dance school, and so did his kids, and or I think it was just your daughter, right? Your, the yeah, one daughter? Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, both of them were. Was it both of them? I, I can't remember. I'm so, stupid like so that. So, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Can, can I interject something? When no. you said that you knew Al from from the Nutcracker years and years ago, I swear to God, I thought you meant that you and Al performed together. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh, did. did. you think That's that? That's what I thought, Okay, too. okay. So, uh, I'm, not, I'm not the only odd man out. No, I thought that No. Too. Well, judging by your choice of clothing tonight, you are I the only odd man out, I got my shiny shirt on, baby. <laughs> yeah, but, but we, we did perform in the Nutcracker. We did. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, you know, Chuck, I can break yeah. it down for you. Basically, our children were in a dance school. Okay, and mine were the youngest ones. You know, the little ones, like four years old, seven years were old. Were you in like the that. play yourself? Did you have a role? Well, if, yeah. If you ever watched the Nutcracker in, in a live performance, uh, like a playwright style, okay. There's yeah, a I just parent. freeze frame it at a particular. I'm moment, sure he did. Yeah. It's but okay. It, it is the world's most boring thing. It was. It was <laughs> fun to do it though. Yeah. No, I thought you actually. Talk, I thought you were childhood friends. No, five years ago, really? You never said five. Oh, if you were paying attention, I active listening, know. Chuck. Active listening, Chuck. <laughs> no, I, 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 I just get lost. In your eyes, Basically, they put on a performance every year for the Nutcracker. We go to the high school, you know, and they and they have a huge performance with all the kids, and they all do the dance numbers. It's a whole real feature Nutcracker and there's a parent scene in the very beginning it's like the opening scene where the, the parents all come out and they're having a, a dinner party you know and, and you know watch the Nutcracker okay okay, okay. I want to I want to bring this show yeah, back yeah, to some relevant I mean I don't think nobody spandex and stage Nutcracker right now speaking of cracking nuts why are you busting my balls man alright okay we're talking about the cracking nuts how about some ball busting rock and roll really alright well I'll tell you what let's Let's give everybody Doug. a second to introduce themselves, man. Yeah. Can, uh, Let's go around the room left to right. We'll start with Doug. He's closest to the mic. Yeah, Doug, what's, what's up, man? Let's talk talk a little bit about you. You've been playing music for how long? Uh, since high school. Probably. Since high school. Oh, since there high school. you go. All right. And that was what, like two years ago? Yeah, a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I just got recently graduated, but no, no probably, I don't know, probably 12 years. Nice. Oh, yeah. Cool. And then we've got uh, Ed. I like the shirt, by the way, man. I got a couple of short sleeve button down mechanic style shirts like that. Yeah. Like rocking those shirts, man. Yeah, that's what I was going for. I didn't show up for work. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's what I was going for. I just left work. <laughs> Kevin's wardrobe. Come over here. Show. So, so uh, Ed is uh, what? Lead vocals and guitar. Um, I'm sorry, Doug. Ed, okay. uh, you play, I would imagine, rhythm guitar, rhythm guitar background yeah. vocals, whatnot. Cool, Some cool. Things. You've been yeah, playing a long good. time too. I don't even know how old you are. You look about my age, maybe a little younger, uh, something no, like that. How old you are, I guess. Um, my God, Kevin, are you hitting on him? <laughs> Dude, I hit on everybody, bro. Of course. Oh, well, you, you just wait till the third hour, Chuck. I'll be hitting on you again. Dude. <laughs> thanks. My mom's listening, Chuck. All right, thanks. Oh, speaking of your mom. <laughs> gotta turn that ringtone down, man. Anyway, so. Uh, Ed, you've been playing music for, what, uh, about the same amount of time? How long? Yeah, since, well, I realized the girls liked it. <laughs> <laughs> right on. There you go. Yeah. I'm so freaking little. 
<laughs> Man, that sounded creepy. <laughs> Everything Chuck says sounds creepy. Get used to it. Man. Holy crap. All right, so we got Harold. What's up with Harold, man? I like the beard you got going on there. It's a little bit better than Camden's, and fuck Camden, man. I can't stand that. <laughs> so how long you been playing music? Uh, like 20 years. I 20 think. years. Yeah. All right. What's your biggest influence? What makes you want to pick up that electric guitar and, and jam out? Uh, originally, just other bands. Just other bands? Yeah, you know. Anybody in particular? Who's your guitar hero? Back then. Oh, geez, I don't know. It's a lot now. Couple, just give us one or two. Back when I was a teenager, it was Metallica, and okay, stuff like that. He kind of looks. Absolutely. He does look a little bit like James Hetfield. What's in your car right now? If you get in your car and you fire it up, well, it'd be on my phone, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I forget. I was old school. Shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, we, we cranked the cars back Castle in my day. <laughs> See, if I were you, I'd be playing I songs to myself, so I'd have my own CD yeah, in the really, car. I'd be like, yeah, CD just done, so I've been listening to that mostly. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Now, you're, you're playing an electric carving guitar. Yeah. What uh? What do you think of that? Is that uh, That's something? Great. It's a good company. either yeah. Factory Direct. You get three thousand dollar guitar for like a thousand bucks. You know? There you go, dude. Jeez. You oh, just yeah. got a plug for that. Um, you got a check coming Kevin, in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys may know some of my background, but I I used to shoot for Armadillo and HHI guitars. I, I, I shot for those guys for years and years doing all their. Catalogs. You're not getting paid for that, Chuck. But come on, man. Okay. We got one more. Person we got over Al here. over there on the bongos. Obviously, the drummer in the, the band. Yeah, from the <laughs> Nutcracker. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nutcracker. We're gonna put it on the album now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be your third, uh, your next album. Be the Why Nutcracker. not do a version? Absolutely. You know what? No. Yeah. <laughs> now I remember talking to you guys earlier in the week, and uh, somebody said my elder is in the band. <laughs> that was Doug. Who who's your elder? When you guys are related? <laughs> You're talking about Al? Yeah. That's I awesome. <laughs> I played with Al forever. We played in like three bands together. I think. Nice, yeah. cool. Yeah. You, you guys are tied as hell, and I tell you, you, you got such an interesting and I, I love your compositions, and I love the way they go in and the ups and downs. I'm telling you, man, I, I'm absolutely mystified about your music. Oh, thank I really, you. you know, not some the, the acoustic versions are taking me away, man. At least really different are. songs. Yeah, we have two two groups of songs we we play. Right. You know, sometimes we play he our heavier stuff, or you know, for certain shows, and other times. Right. We play our acoustic songs. We play. No, no, I, I am telling you tonight, you guys are absolutely spot on, clean notes. Are uh, clean. Chuck, are you hitting on him, dude? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 Kevin. I, I, I figured. Um, I'm going on. Love. <laughs> You're next. Here. Actually, I'm not. <laughs> All right, so should, should they play some stuff? Do you guys, yeah. they're they're itching, man. I yeah, can okay. see they're yeah. like ready, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so they, we can see can see he, he has not taken his hands off the fret and or off. No, they're all. It's like gunslingers. <laughs> <laughs> they're, 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 they're ready to shoot, baby. All right, Chuck. Let's uh, let's let these guys play out. What are you gonna play? Play happy. Sure. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. So this is happiness. All right. Cool. Here we go. Slingshot robot. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for listening to The Kevin Holly Show. I hope you enjoyed Slingshot Robot. I hope you also enjoyed Cam Bertrand, stand-up comedian, who will be uh, locally here at uh, Side Splitters as well as Snappers uh, in the next week or so. Uh, the elevator's fixed. Pops is safe. Everything's good. Jaybird's here. We're uh, cleaning up the studio. Yeah, so we Jaybird's not good. Jaybird's <laughs> got to go home and clean his drawers out, man. I'm <laughs> fucked up. A little scary tonight? A little scary. Jaybird, you fixed the elevator, man. Badass, dude. Yeah, I did. That's pretty cool. So, uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to The Kevin Holly Show. Um, we will catch you next Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, sharp. And, uh, Jay, let's end the show the right way. We're going to end it about 10 minutes early here, about 12 minutes early. Uh, but catch us on the IRN, catch us on TuneIn, catch us on Stitcher, iTunes, Spreaker, YouTube, all that good stuff. At Kevin Holly Show 4 on Twitter, that's the number 4, as well as Facebook, The Kevin Holly Show, and The Kevin Holly Fun Page. The Kevin Holly Show fun page, right? And uh, Jay Bird, anyone else? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clean my drawers out and then walk down three flights of stairs because uh, I don't trust that elevator anymore. And I um, uh, think we should get our rent back this month. Yeah, that was the, a little weird. I aged like 10 years tonight. Yeah, I hear you, dude. I did too. All right, guys. Thanks, everybody. And uh, let's get out of here, man. Kevin's getting tired. It's time to end the show. He really freaking blow It's end of the Kevin Holly Show I'd like to thank you for listening to the Kevin Holly Show I hope you've had as much fun as we have bringing it to you It's really been a pleasure And be sure and get us again next week Okay, bye-bye